بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone and welcome to this is football Welcome to another stream Ladies and gentlemen We're here, we're back As you guys can hear in my voice I'm still really a little bit sick uh, You get me um, You know obviously I didn't do content Tuesday and uh, What's it called? Tuesday and, and Monday the day before as well Because I was a bit sick um, You know it's kind of the The situation with uh, You know I think the changing of the weather And stuff like that just a bit of an influenza fever, you know, just your typical stuff when, when the weather changes. I'm still a bit sick right now, but, you know, we're not going to go three days without, uh, you know, not doing content. So we're here anyway. Big up to all of you guys. Make sure you guys are slapping the like button. Make sure you guys are all subscribing to This Is Football if you're yet to do so. And we have an absolutely incredible show planned for you guys today. Um, obviously, um, why is everyone ill this week? I think it's just the changing of the weather, I'll be honest with you. Obviously, um, you know, we have a title race on our hands. There's a lot. There's a lot, a lot, a lot for us to to to, to unpack, you know. Um, Arsenal play City this weekend. Um, are Liverpool fans playing the underdog in the words of uh, Footy Judge Mo? There's so much for us to speak about today. So, guys, there's 150 people in here already. We haven't even started the show yet. Uh, before I even introduce my panels, my panelists, sorry. Make sure you guys are slapping the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing to This Is Football if you're ready to do so. Let's get to 100 likes ASAP. I don't want to keep speaking as I'm sick to tell you to like the video. I'll use my voice for, for better reasons, like to actually talk about the football. So please like the video, Habibi, and subscribe. And joining me today, of course, um, you know, before I introduce the artist and the guest, this guy right here um, is always ready to step into the ring with anyone. I think the rest of the City fans were just, uh, you know, ducking the league on a smoke. Uh, this guy doesn't duck no smoke. He's ready to fight 24-7, all day, every day. Joining us on the channel, of course, the man, the myth, the legend, my brother, Footy Judge Mo. How are you doing, Habibi? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. I just Salam. woke up. Uh, big up. We're here. I'm not representing Man City, though. Uh, I'm not representing Man City, but big up. I'm glad I'm here. Absolutely. This is going to be a banging show, people. So before we start, you got to like the video. And if you're watching this on the replay and you haven't hit that like button yet, you're fraudulent and you just want to get entertained and we're not asking you for money yet. We're just asking you to hit that like button. So like the video before we even start. So if you're watching this on the replay, make sure to stop now. The like <coughs> button is underneath the live chat. It looks like thumbs up. So make sure to like the video because we're in for a banging show. And you don't want to stop in the middle. And we don't want to stop you if you're alive as well. So like the video, guys, because you're going to enjoy this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are and I think it's the it. other way around. Lee Gunner is the one who's stepping in the ring with me. It's not Oh, 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 oh. I think oh, it's the oh, other oh, way oh. around. I don't know big why. Big words. Big words there from Mo. You know, Lee's on his way, guys. I just texted him. He's, he's, he's uh, on his way. Yeah, he's on his way. Um, um, uh, this this stream right here is gonna be absolutely incredible. Shout out to my guy, um, Smoke. Big up to you, Saleh says, Alhamdulillah, Salam Taqiya Bata, Allah Salamak, Habibi, Allah Salamak. I think, like I said, bro, you know what it is? It's just the changing of this of the weather has just been not normal, and that's why everyone's been sick. Like, yeah, the weather changing in every day as well. It's very strange. This Friday it was eight uh, degrees Celsius, next Friday it's 28 degrees Celsius. Like, it's literally, there's 20 degrees difference in a week, which is not normal, you know? So we're here. We're here. You know, you get me. Um, big up to you, Habibi Saleh. Shukran, Ilak. Uh, thank you so much for all the support lately as well. Big up to you. Hussam, hope you're doing well. Big up the panel, Lee and Mo. Um, okay, he said he's just making a cup of tea, so we're good. Um, Hussam, hope you're doing well. Big up the panel, Lee and Mo. Uh, and... Mo the just? Big up. Oh, you're calling him Mo the just now. You called me out yesterday. Okay. Nilo Pal, yes. I had a show yesterday before until he comes in. Mm. I had a show yesterday. And um in the show yesterday, it was a Liverpool show. So I, of course I asked all this. So for the Liverpool fans that get upset in my comments, I already had 40 comments. About 30 of them are upset. Why you why, why do you have to do this? Why why do you say Klopp is this? And I, I just have to tell the people, guys, there won't be any content if I get four Liverpool guys and we clap to each other and we'll play some cards and we have some flowers on the stream and we say, 
Liverpool are great. McAllister is fantastic. Jurgen Klopp is the best manager in the world. No, that's not how it works. Literally, that's not how it works. If if you watch me on the solo shows or the small shows when me and Sam do shows with each other, right? You'll see my opinion, right? But I have four guests. If I don't ask the questions to them, they won't say anything. You just stay silent. I need to ask them the tough questions. I need to create an argument. I need to create a debate. I need, because otherwise, yesterday, if I didn't ask the tough question, Jerry James would not have opposed Mike Das. Rack would not have opposed Rams. They need, each one need the right, the right question. And that's, this is my job. This is why I, I do YouTube. I ask the tough questions. I get the answers from them so they can debate. And at the end, we reach a conclusion because we all have different opinions. Myself, Hussam have a different opinion. Everyone has a different opinion. At the end, the argument is to reach a conclusion or to give the audience and to give the viewers different points of view. Otherwise, we'll just echo chambers. We'll just sit together and just say the same. Hussam, for example, is different than Tom. Imagine if Hussam and Tom sit on a stream for two hours for you and they all clap and everything is great and they sit together and they high five each other. You know what I mean? That, there wouldn't be any show. You wouldn't want to watch that. But this is content. But what, my, what was it that was said that, that triggered them so much? About is if the for example, a couple of things. If the new manager, if Klopp does a, doesn't win this year and the new manager comes in and win next year, does that mean he's already more successful with this team than Jurgen Klopp? And Mike does is like, no, that's because Klopp built this squad, and I, but then in the same breath, Mike does this is what I call Mike does said, yeah, but this is also a rebuild team. I'm like, okay, so if it's a rebuild or it's he built it. Like, anyway, arguments like this also about the, of course, should he have won more or not? Half the panel said he should have won more. Half the panel said it is what it is. We're happy where we are. You know, these are the questions. And also about is it his fault or is it FSG fault? Is it his fault that he's too loyal? He's too loyal to Fabinho. He was too loyal to Henderson. He was too loyal to these guys. Or is it FSG fault? Uh, questions like that. And also who should leave? Trent, should Trent leave if Liverpool don't win trophies for the next two years? Should Van Dijk leave? Should Salah leave? Uh, also, <clears throat> I think we had we had really good arguments because actually the, the best argument of yesterday, if people didn't watch that, you guys have to watch that, is how much Liverpool fans, how long they will be patient with a new manager? Is it 18 months? Is it one year? Is it two years? Three years? Uh the majority of the panel said that the, the manic, they're going to give them new manager 18 months. Um, but the, he needs to not like fall off. He needs like not, not to be eighth, seventh. Like they will accept. Yeah, the thing is, year, um, yeah. our club is doing what it can to not fall off like crazy. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, like when a big, when a big part of your club like that leaves, like when, you know, it's the same with Ferguson and stuff. Like when, uh, not that Klopp, Klopp isn't the same level as Ferguson. I'm saying like he was, he's, you know, how big he is in the city and to the people. When someone like that leaves, it's normal that you're going to have a fall off. That's why they're doing everything to minimize the fall off. Michael Edwards, you know, um, yes. Richard. Mike, Hughes, Mike said thing. that yesterday. Mike said that. Yeah, but, but yes, you know this is he about felt well. that the we club is going the right, right direction. Manager, yeah. But we still have to get the right manager and we still have to make the right transfers. Yeah, and tomorrow, if we get Graham Potter, all this Michael Edwards stuff, خلاص, is pointless. Garbage, yeah, it's pointless. Yeah, it's pointless, you know? If we don't get a good manager, خلاص, all this goes down yeah, the drain. Yeah, but, but these are the know. discussions yesterday. And oh my God, the amount of people saying, Mo, you have an agenda against Klopp. So for me, presenting facts and maybe discussing <laughs> them, it's just, it is what it is. My opinion, okay. and, and at the end, they, they told me, yeah, let's go. Okay, okay. Um, guys, he's here. Don't worry. We don't, uh, you know, we don't face bait on This Is Football. We don't put people's faces on the thumbnail and then they're not on This Is Show, guys. We're, we're actually, we're like, we only put people's faces on that they're coming on the stream, you get me? So he's here now. Um, Mo, I don't know if he's been listening to the stream as he's been making his team. Mo's been threatening already. He's saying, Lee is stepping into the ring with me. It's not even, uh, you know, I'm stepping into the ring with Lee. So I don't know what it is Mo has up his sleeve today. He's probably going to ask an annoying Kai Havertz question or something. So I know he's ready. Of course, um, one of the icons of Arsenal YouTube is here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one of the realists on, on YouTube as well. 
Um, I've worked with them before many times on This Is Football. Um, I've worked with them as well before on the terrace. The man, the myth, the legend, man like Lee Garner, is in the building. Big up to you, Lee. How are you doing, brother? This is the Mopac. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. I decided not to go for tea in the end. I decided to get myself a nice Victoria Malaga, uh, a nice smoke, and uh, yeah, let's have it then, Mo. What you got to say? I don't have to say anything. This guy's trying to get into me for no reason, bro. This guy wants chaos and he wants to swim in the chaos. He, he's just stirring the pot. That's what he's doing, yeah. like he always does. He's he doing a, a mo, bro. Troll. He's doing a mo. <laughs> Yeah, oh really, Mo? Can I do VAR replay and and say a replay what you said? Okay. Look at you. You're such a. Should bro. I expose you again, like bro. I did on, on Ahwa in front of uh, the thousands of people that watched? You're the one who said, "Oh, no Mo is stepping in the ring with Lee. He got." I'm like, come on. Anyway, uh, anyway, Lee is toxic and negative. We all know that. That's, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's disgusting. Behavior. Behavior. I mean, I mean, I you don't want to stop in the middle, and we don't want to stop you if you're alive as well. So, like the video, guys, because you're gonna enjoy this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are and I think it's the other way around. Lee Gunner is the one who's stepping in the ring with me. It's not. Oh, See, I said the other way around. See, it's the there other you way are. Around. Yeah. There you are. See, I never lie. I don't lie, bro. See, I told you. Don't you lie. Are you even faster? Yet? You, get... <laughs> you have your car. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, anyway, let me let me just read this super chat before we get this party started. Big up to Abs as well. It says, "Salam alaikum." Oh, why is Liverpool under pressure when everyone at the start said we would finish fifth, even you? I think the fasting has got to your head. Can I respond to you? We had this yesterday, yeah. Abs. You're you're just you don't understand. Even the Liverpool fans, when he announced he's leaving, he already put pressure because it's the end of a tenure. And already people are telling him, you already won one league title in nine years. That's not enough for Liverpool Football Club, for the wages you have, for the superstars. Because you told us many times, Abs, that you guys have the best players, you guys have the best manager, you guys do this. So one league title in nine years isn't enough. So that's why the minute he announced he's leaving, the pressure went on to be Liverpool and Arsenal and instead of Man City and Arsenal. Liverpool had no pressure before the club because... If he wasn't leaving and he came third this year, they would say, oh, we're rebuilding the midfield. I hope that... Yeah, I hear that. you. That's not, only, not only that, just because there's no pressure doesn't mean that there can then be pressure halfway through a season. You know, because no, we're, all of this talk Arsenal had last season, nobody expected it. Nobody expected it. Just because nobody yeah. expected it doesn't mean you can't do it. Yeah, and then yeah. the longer you go through a season, yeah, and with us last season, eight points clear, all of a sudden... There is now pressure to do it because nobody expected it. But now you're in that position. You should now get over the line. Yeah. And the same with Klopp. Yeah. yeah Klopp, like Mo said, he's announced that he's leaving. That's instantly put pressure on him. He has to win something. I know he's won the League Cup, but he has to walk out there with that Premier League. Otherwise, if Arteta wins it, he's equal Klopp's legacy in the Premier League. I I I, I agree with that. hundred percent there's pressure. There is no big club without it without pressure on it. There's always pressure. I want to smoke so bad right now, it's still midday. Hey, me and you both. I, I have three hours left, you get me? Uh, but me, I'm <laughs> I'm waiting to take Sorry. my medicine. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm actually you drinking know? alcohol and smoking cigarettes on your stream. This is this is haram, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we give to you, my guy. Smoke. We give to you. Um, Lee asked Mo, does he remember the day Henri skinned Zanetti? Zanetti is my goat right back, though. Still much respect. Five, By the one. way, uh, don't just disrespect that. our baller, Alexis. Alexis Sanchez. Your please. baller, your baller, this is why you have to run it, Jacka. You have to clutch and cling into these guys, the likes of Alexis Sanchez. We had Ozil because you have nothing else. You don't have major trophies to cling into. You have no major trophies to brag about. Nobody brags about having a player if they win major trophies. I don't go in the triple and say I had Eto. I go in the triple year in 2010 and say I won the triple. So I would respect, disrespect whoever I want. If he doesn't play well for my club, he's getting paid at my club to play football. And he's <laughs> shit. Toxic. He's How shit. toxic and negative. He's going to oh, be bro. part of a title win inside this season. He's had, um, he's had some appearances as well. He's chipped in without him. He might not be that far clear. Do you know what I'm saying? And you know he won That's the title with us under Antonio Conte as well. Exactly, he is a club legend. I'm not about. I'm not about that, bro. I'm not about that. The guy's 38, should be in a retirement home. Someone paid oh that guy. Someone paid that guy to play football. 
This he actually season. looks like a washed footballer, doesn't he? Now, like when, when I see him done, play the other night against um, Atleti, and he came on against Atleti in the first leg, <clears throat> he came on. And I was like, right, Alexis looks washed, bro. Look at him, like he looks yeah. proper old now. I think yeah. uh, they, they had to sign him. There was nobody else, and we had needed a fourth striker. And he came to enter and offered himself for a low wage for free from Marseille. You and can said, tell okay. when it's when it's time for a player to just hang hang yeah. on. His he didn't. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. He wants another year. Another year. Hey, oh, fair enough. Yeah, he wants, fair he enough. wants more you trophies. Know? He's hungry for them trophies, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Let me check. Is Luis Suarez actually older than than uh, Alexis Sanchez? Alexis Sanchez, he was born in eight, Alexis Sanchez born in 89. Luis Suarez born, in, I think, 87 or 88. Oh, Luis Suarez is, is 37. Alexis Sanchez yeah, yeah. is how old? 35. No. No? Alexis, 35. No. 35. Oh, he's born in 91. Old. No, he's born in okay. 89. Mm. 89 yeah, and 87. 89 and 87. Yeah. Alexis Sanchez is younger. 35. But Alexis yeah, Sanchez peaked much earlier. Than Luis Suarez, you remember Alexis Sanchez peaked with Barcelona when he went from Modenese. Yeah, Barcelona. that's true. That is true. He, 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 much he, year he, earlier he, at that he, time, Luis Suarez was still not on the like on uh, the scene. He was still in Ajax and stuff like that. David Villa syndrome. Some people just just speak a bit later. I believe the first year we should have controlled the downfall and finished at fourth. Second year we should be in the title picture. Listen, Smoke. I, we will talk about Liverpool. Thank you so much for the super chat, Habib. And speaking of, big up to Shaka, big up to Abs, big up to Smoke, and big up to Nilfman for the super chats. Saleh, honestly, thank you so much, bro. Big up to you. Been supporting the channel a lot lately, my brother. Big up to you. Um, guys, there's 600 people in here. We're going to get to the Arsenal side of things first, you get me? So um, make sure you guys are slapping the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing. I'm, I'm sick. I don't want to interrupt the Lee versus Mo fight that Mo has been threatening Lee <laughs> to tell you guys to like the video. You get me? So make sure you guys are liking, make sure you guys are subscribing right here, right now. Um, and actually, let me let me just say something. Diallo, <laughs> I love the fact that you said this. First of all, it's not me who's drinking. Second of all, Diallo, if you know anything about Islam, you cannot force your beliefs on anyone. <laughs> you have your religion and I have mine. I cannot tell Lee what to do with his life. It's not how it works, brother. So big up to you, Diallo, but it's not me, Habibi. But like, I appreciate it. Thank you anyway uh, for the super chat. Um, you know, you should learn your own religion, Diallo. You get me? It's one of the, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's one of the most important surahs in the Quran. Um, anyway, football. So, Mo uh, and Lee, Arsenal Football Club. Actually, I've realized this today. The longest he hasn't promoted it. He's just drinking it himself, to be fair. It's not like he's going, oh, buy it from this website. Relax, Diallo. Anyway, um, back to the football. So, Arsenal Football Club. I actually realized this today. They're actually the longest club uh, without playing a football game out of the three. I think it's been like seven, 18 days, I think it was, by the since the last play, By the time we play it, it'll be 19 days from a Premier League game oh, to a Premier oh. League game. Yeah. But, but we yeah, did yeah, have yeah. the um, we did have the Quarter. Champions So, yeah, it's, it's probably going to be yeah. about 16, 16 days without a game. That is, that's a long ass time. That's sometimes, you know, international break. It's, I, I felt, you know what it is, international break was good for me. Because it's like, you know, we have a few players back and stuff. I'm like, yes, Alison, thank you. Trent, thank you. You get me. All these guys come back. But from an Arsenal perspective, um, you know, the momentum, Arsenal's momentum was really good. I think had they taken on City after Porto with the position that City were in. But then sometimes as well, stuff happens like a Stones injury, like stuff like that. So, Lee, let me just, uh, you know, obviously on This Is Football, you guys know we do more. Oh, you know, just open football conversations. But I want to start the Arsenal section off with Lee. So I want to ask him, just tell me your your general thoughts on 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 Arsenal so far this season, um, you know, up until this point. We're doing all right. I can't lie. We, we started the season boring. It was slow, sideways, scraping through games in stoppage time. And I was calling it out saying this ain't sustainable. Um, obviously, you then get bombarded with abuse because you have to be super toxic positive these days about everything. If you win a game, you're not allowed to cuss a player or, or the style of the play. Um, and then lo and behold, we went one win in seven. <laughs> so it obviously wasn't sustainable, was it? Um, we then went to Dubai, come back from Dubai, and we've been amazing, man. Like slapping everybody apart from Porto. Um, literally, oh, well, and Liverpool in the cup. 
But other than that, we've absolutely battered every team we've played, including Liverpool. Like you had one shot on target against us at home, like at our grounds. Like every, I think we I think in three games we'd only conceded like two shots on target. And then when you put that into into context, and you see Man United conceding like twenty shots a game, <laughs> like, like it's actually mad how good our defense is. And that's like, I think that's because Ben White's now doing the inverted role. Kivior has been just going up and down the wing. Yeah, we've not had Zinchenko in the team, which helps because like as good as he is on the ball, he's useless off the ball, never in position. Whereas I think Ben White's better defensively and he's good on the ball as well. And then Declan Rice has just been unreal, man. He, he has been so good this season. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, the, the football 29 is chipping in with goals. He's doing all right. He scored again for Germany the other night. Decent finish against France. So yeah, it's looking good, man. The one thing I will say, though, it's like this break we've had now, like you said, like 16, 17 days, whatever it may be, without a game. Like I know they've had their international games. Um, Norway played in the snow yesterday, a snow and hailstorm. <laughs> Odegaard dropped a stinker. Um, Ireland dropped a stinker. He missed a penalty. <laughs> Odegaard hit the bar. Oscar Bob was missing sitter after sitter. And then oh, Slovakia the draw. Was in the last minute. Yeah, yeah, the draw they had. Yeah, yeah, they drew yeah, to they... Slovenia, I think it was. Slovenia or Slovakia, yeah, some, some, one of them too. But yeah, 87th minute equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, but it looked freezing, man. I can't lie, it looked so cold in Norway, man. Odegaard hopefully comes back without having a cold. Yeah, because it, it looks super freezing. And then we've had um, no Ben White. He's not been playing for England. He told Southgate to stick it. Um 29's obviously played. We've had a few players. Saliba played yesterday as well, but I don't know. Premier League football is just 29. Different. You're still calling him 29? 29. Who's 29? Yeah. 29. No, the German giraffe. Not. Yeah, but he's scoring goals now. That's his job. Yeah, he's scoring goals for Germany too, to be fair. That's, that's not his job, actually. But yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah that's his job. Not his job when, when he wins, when he wins. Not his job. job. It's, not, it's not actually his job. It's part of his job. It's part, but it's not the main job. He's not Erling Haaland. He's not there getting, he's not like he started slow, but he's not getting there. I'm not saying that Havertz is a, is a great player. Havertz is probably, in my opinion, <laughs> you're just trying to rattle me. The worst, no, no, to... no. He's probably the worst player in the Arsenal team. And, this, and I've been saying that. I said, every time you look at Arsenal, Kai Havertz is the guy. If you want to improve, you're going to remove Kai Havertz and put somebody else. This is how it works. Mm. Everybody else, probably, even including Kivior, is doing their job. Mm. Raya has been great. So Kai Havertz is the one. However, lately, he has been improving. It's it's a fact. Mm. No, no denying. You can't just deny that. He, no, he's been, he's that, been very good, that, even without his gold. He's yes, been decent. That showed that, and goals show that. Yes. Oh, he should have been sent off. Okay, but he didn't. It wasn't sent off, and he got the goal. That won you three points. That kept you top of the league. Like people say, but he should have been sent off. Okay, he he wasn't. Okay, like Raheem Sterling, oh, years after years after years, he wasn't sent off for City, and he used to get them goals. We never called him out for that, but people want to call him out for this. But anyway, Kai Havertz, at the end, he's improving, and credit to Mikel Arteta. He's not he, yet lived up to the hype that he was at Leverkusen, because I watched him at Leverkusen, but there's no denying that he improved. There is no denying that the guy... Did you take him in now? Uh, not as a starter for me. I have better players than him. Like Where Alexis. Would he play? <laughs> like a four striker, yes, of course. He's better than Alexis. Of course, he's better than Arnatovic, yes. <laughs> oh, dear, <laughs> yeah, but, but to be honest with you, he has not, he isn't great, right? But you look around, and I want to ask you a question. Doku started on fire, right? 50 million pounds. Kai Havertz, 65 million pounds. A little bit older. Someone is stepping in onto a team like Manchester City, played very well, Doku. And I, I, I like Doku, right? If Havis continue in this trajectory and Doku continues, who would you rather have in your team? Lee? I'd rather neither of them, if I'm honest. Okay, no, no, but would you, if, if if you have to get have one, yeah, Doku's would trash. You? Doku is rubbish, bro. I'm not, yeah, I, I but would, you would rather right. have. So the answer is you would rather have Havis. Yes. Yeah, but it's, it's it's like picking it's like picking Gemma Collins or Lizzo. Like, which one would you rather have? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, let's do one. <laughs> Like which one would you rather have, Jim McCollum? Yeah, you know that one. That question Lee just asked. I'd say shoot me. I'd say it. Right? <laughs> I'm not, but hold I'm on, hold on. Either I'm me. not saying Kai Havertz on the eye doesn't look great, and he hasn't. He's not involved, and I think he was hurting the play in the beginning. But to be honest, right, and this is not devil's advocate shit. I've been saying this in the last two three weeks. Mikel Arteta has realized this is. I said that his mistake. He realized 
I cannot shoot Hornum in the midfield. I just can't. It's not going to work. He cannot be a midfielder and touch the ball 15 times. That's not going to work for a team that has 60% ball position. That, that doesn't work, right? So he said, Banda, we're moving him to up top. And we're moving him to the end of the play instead of the beginning of the play. Let's have this guy at the end of the play. Because Gabriel Jesus can stay fit. He needs a wheelchair to play. So let's have this guy because I can't trust in Ketia, right? So And he has been successful. He's actually doing stuff for the, for the defense. And if you ask the majority of Arsenal fans, if I ask you, Lee, who would you rather start against Man City from the guys you have in Ketia, Jesus, or Habits? And don't give me a fourth option. It's just all the three. <laughs> don't tell me neither. Don't, don't give me a fourth start. option. Okay, you would start rather start Holland. Okay, we all rather start Holland up top. No, but I'd rather start Trossard up front, if I'm honest. Really? Yeah. You have Martinelli on the left. Martinelli on the left, Trossard, Trossard up front. But I'll, I'll be honest here, since since Dubai, he's played well. Yeah, but let's just be real with this. He's getting praised for the bare minimum. That's true. Like, he's, he's 65 mil. That's not his fault. He's on 300 grand a week. That, however, is his fault because him and his agent have haggled that deal. Yeah, and he's our highest paid player. Right? And the club have agreed to pay it. But now you're coming in as our top earner. You've got to do, you've got to do better than what you're doing. He scores seven goals. Yeah, and like he's coming as a top top player. He's our third highest sign in history. Yeah, and the only reason he's not second is because we bought Declan Rice. Or oh, sorry, you know, he would have been second. Yeah, Declan Rice took the top spot. Pepe second, him third. So how comes he's not got no pressure on him to do anything? But when Pepe was signed, all the pressure was on Pepe. Yeah, Declan Rice is, fits like a glove. He's brilliant. Yeah, so nobody's mentioning his price tag. The only reason people are mentioning Havertz's price tag, yeah, is the fact that he hasn't been that good. Yeah, and it's only a handful of games in March that he's done really well. Yeah, you know, end of February into mid March. Yeah, them six, seven games he's played very well. Yeah, but let's be real here. Unless he gets over the line and wins a sank, it's all irrelevant. Yeah, it's like it's same, same with um, some you like say the Kane. same about Declan Rice. Yeah, so if you don't win the league this year, the Champions League, has Declan Rice signing been unreasonable? With some no, money. no, because no, I'm not saying it's unreasonable. What I'm saying is, if you if you play well for a whole season and don't achieve anything, it was it was a waste of a season, regardless of how well you played. But the signing, if if if, if okay, let, let me just uh, simple question: If Mikel Arteta is able to revive my habits in terms of like bring it back, you watch. I, I know you watch a lot of European football, right? You watch him at Leverkusen. Remember when he was at 19, he was going double digits, and he was like, yeah, uh, he was, there's a new German he was thing. It was good. If Miguel Arteta gets that form back, the guy that scores 17 to 20 goals, have like 10 assists or 9 assists, the guy that runs a lot, would you not say that, yeah, you invested the right money? Yeah, of course. But at the same time, he ain't going to do that, bro. Yeah, but let's be real. When he was playing at Leverkusen, most of the teams in that league were playing a high line. Yeah, and all that to do is just whip the ball over the top and he just had a free header every time. Yeah, uh, let's just be real with it. Most of the teams that play against us are parking the bus. Yeah, so now, and I've seen this guy multiple times, three yards out, and put the ball six yards wide with his head. <laughs> He's done it against Sevilla twice in three minutes. <laughs> yeah, who was it we played the other week? He did it in that game as well. He, he had a one and one against Brentford that he missed. It. Isn't that Bre Brentford? He had a one and one. Yeah, Brent, huh? Brent, oh, Brentford, he scored the winner. Right? Yeah, no, but before that, that, there was a game when he had one and one clear one and one, and he oh, did, yeah, right. and it went, it went, it went, it went, it went one yard outside of the six yard box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't that remember. That was the game. game before Brentford, maybe the game before Brentford. I, I can't remember, but mm. yeah, that, that, but, one but one this one is the thing for the amount of money we spent on him, you know, and wages that's going to cost the best part of 100 million quid or more. Yeah, 130 odd million quid that's going to cost for the contracts and the fee. Yeah, why didn't we just go and buy Ivan Tony with that money? Yeah, because Ivan Tony's not going to be charging 280 grand a week, which is what he's on. He's and yeah, he might cost more in fee, but you're going to get money back, really, because he's going to take, what, 150, 160 a week? So you'll save yourself 120 a week over five years. Yeah, straight away, you've saved money and you've got a proper striker. Yeah, and the thing is, listen, if he wins me a title or wins me a Champions League, cool, then I'll start saying his name. <laughs> but I know it rattles everyone that I don't call him his name. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep saying it. What if he scores the winner against Man City? Will you say Will you say his name? Maybe for one day, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I did I did actually celebrate his goal the other day. What game was that? I celebrated that goal, I can't remember. The Brentford can't game. Remember. 
Brentford game. The Brentford it's game. It was the, the winner. Game. It was celebrated. Yeah, the winner. celebrated. Yeah, he scored the winner twice against Brentford. everywhere. Home and away, he did. Home and away. He so he's won us four points. Like, he's won us four because we would have had two draws in them. And he's got us four points extra, hasn't he? So, yeah, if we win the league, and, um, yeah, happy days. I'll be buzzing. But at the same time, you can win a league title and still want players out. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, I because you, you want Alexis I'm, Sanchez. I'm not going to clap to Alexis clear. Sanchez and Arnautovic tomorrow and make Italian yeah. if we win the league. I'm not going to sing yeah. their name. That's not going to happen. No, I'm not. There were players I wanted out as well when we won the league. So it's not. It's not and yeah, I never, never seen that. You always have to recovered. keep evolving the team as well. Listen, he's doing all right now. Yeah, yeah, but if he had been doing this earlier in the season, we might have been clear anyway. Yeah, because we went one win in seven and he was missing chances and he was anonymous in games. Yeah, so if he's actually putting this level of consistency in that, uh, then as he is now, might actually be clear already. And people might be saying, putting pressure on us, like they're doing it again. They're seven points clear, eight points clear, five points clear. Instead, we're now joined. Liverpool play before us and then we've got to go to the Etihad, a place where we've not won for donkey years. You're, you know you're, so, you're not favourites against the Etihad. You can, you can, uh, I'm, I'm about, about to not. ask you about that game. I'm about to ask you about that you're game. Not, you're not favourites against like, the Etihad at all. That game right there is, 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 is so important. I think it's the most important Arsenal game in, in, in a really long time. Let me just read years. this to Super Chat. Speaking of being clinical... Eight, 18 years after the final of the Champions League in 2006. That's the most important game for Arsenal. Yeah, it is the most important game. That's why I'm, I want to ask you about it. Uh, for the last two weeks, all I've seen is Liverpool fans putting five or six players in the best combined 11 and crying underdogs, says James Bond. <laughs> Half your team is better than City and Arsenal and then your favourite. Tell James, them, James. Uh, tell them, James. Tell this fraud. Can I respond more, please? Can I respond more, please? Well, I'm too sick to shout. Well, I'm too I'm sick to shout. I haven't even had water. There's so many viruses and bacteria in my body right now. And I'm glad we're had doing water. this on stream, you're not in the studio. Yeah, I haven't even had water yet. You get me. So, <laughs> James, James, you know, you know what I'll tell you. What what Liverpool fans say does not represent, you know, the overall consensus. And also, even if we do have four or five players, it's the four world class players that I've been talking about from the start of the season. Allison, Trent, Van Dijk, and Mo Salah. Those are the four. <laughs> Other than that, you know, if we get a McAllister and based on performance of the season, fair enough. But you need a squad to win the Premier League. This is the reality. You cannot win this Premier League without a squad. And this is why when Northside keep mentioning this, when Lee mentions this, when quote unquote the toxic negative fans mention this, I actually understand what they're saying. Because if God forbid, let's imagine the Saka injury is real and you had to play Reese Nelson against Man City, are you confident? Their answer is going to be no. Same way that I don't like my squad. So this is the reality, James. You need a squad to win the Premier League. You can't win with just starting 11. So yeah, this is this is what what I'd say. You can't just play. You know, maybe fifteen years ago you could play like twelve players and that's it. But now, no, you have a whole squad, thanks to Pep Guardiola and his ball checkbook self. Uh, big up the Hussam and the lads. I still don't rate Kai Havertz personally. There are at least ten players in the league that we could have got ahead of him. Yeah, it's very true actually. For that much money, that's yeah. true. Ashraf. Very true. That's actually true. Ashraf. I'll be honest with you. I think for sixty-five million as well. But you could have, you could have got Madison for forty million to play next to Odegaard in that midfield. 40 million. Can you imagine 40 million? You get Madison to play Madison next to Odegaard. Been a steal. Oh my been god, a steal. that midfield though. Oh. Yeah, that, that would be cooked right there. I still think they need a striker though. That's the crazy part. I, I still think that's only the one because part Jesus that is like. injured. Only because Jesus, yeah, but Jesus is always injured. That's the problem. And also, I actually have a problem with Jesus. He was fit a whole season at City, and the guy played KDB for like false nine. Like, is that not that negative? Morris, but that doesn't yeah. mean anything, but that doesn't mean anything because. Mikel Arteta, when he uses uh, Jesus, it actually, I think, brings everybody up. Everybody around him plays better. Odegaard plays better. Saka plays better. That's Martinelli fair. Plays That's better. fair. Like, That's fair. When he That's doesn't play, fair. by the way, these guys look for someone to pass the ball up top and there's nobody. Because Kai Havis isn't that guy. <laughs> Gabriel Jesus plays a game, touches the ball like 40 times or 50 times from the starting position as a striker. That's completely different. <laughs> That comment's hilarious. <laughs> hey, I'm fully, I'm fully Spanish now, guys. I'm fully Spanish. I've seen the light. You know, at least they play good football, man. Do you know what I'm saying? They got a 16 year old at Barcelona who's absolutely killing it. He was absolutely insane last night. Standing ovation at the Bernabeu, mad. Yeah, that man said, "King Charles will strip you of your citizenship." <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, cooler, you really made me laugh, honestly. Big up to you, man. I like cooler, you know. Oh, my Lord. Big up to you, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Listen, speaking of Kai Havertz, you guys are moving like Kai Havertz pre Dubai because we have 820 people in here. We ain't even on 400 likes yet. That's Kai Havertz pre Dubai. Can we all start doing like Kai Havertz post Dubai? Everyone hit the like button right now. Move it. Everyone move it like Bruno Fernandes on a match day. Yeah, Hello. 850 people in here. 850 people in here. Let's get to 400 likes ASAP, guys. Don't let me have to the get like the out, guys. I'll slap this. Smash the like button. Smash the like button right <laughs> now. Um, so, speaking of smashing, obviously, we all know what happened last season. You get me with, with the Arsenal City games, how they kind of changed stuff up a little bit. Um, is this is, is it fair to say this is probably the least scared Arsenal fans are of, of, of Manchester City? Um, you know, over this last hmm. two, two years. I period. think so. I think so. We've beaten them twice already this season. Once on pens in the Community Shield. And then 1 0 at the Emirates. And I'll take a stinky, dirty 1 0, mate. I don't, I don't care. Just beat them. Yeah, and this is where we, we now see whether we are champions or not, or whether we are going to go to the death. Because if we go there and lose, I think we crumble. Yeah, because we, we've got ni uh, nine games from this Sunday through to the 28th of April. Nine games, yeah, including City, including Tottenham, including Chelsea, two against Bayern, Brighton away, Villa at home, Luton. Uh, we've got some hard, hard games, man, coming up in the next two, three weeks. And if we lose to to City, I think it's curtains. If we um, if we draw, I still think we could um, we could still win it potentially, even if you beat Brighton, because um, you'll only be what two points clear. So <laughs> it wouldn't be the worst result getting a draw. But I don't want to draw. I want to win. Yeah, and it, it show whether Arsenal have got the balls now, because last year it was about this time last year. I'll never forget this, actually. I was in um, Marbella in a shopping centre. I was in Taco Bell with my missus. And there was an Arsenal fan. He was Spanish. Yeah, and he recognised me. He came up. He said to me, and it was the day we were playing Man City. And he said to me, oh, I watch your channel. And he was showing me DMs on Instagram where I, I, he's messaged me a few times. And this guy, I was like, this is wild, bro. I'm just saying Taco Bell. <laughs> he said, what do you reckon the prediction is for tonight? I said, I reckon we get battered 4-0. And that was last year against City. And he went 4-1. What happened? 4-1. And do you know why that wound me up and why I remember that? Because if we had beaten Man City, they ain't winning the league. Yeah. And that yeah. was like, they win that game, they go above us. And we just didn't want it, mate. We absolutely bottled it that game. I don't think we'll bottle it this time. But it wouldn't surprise me if we lost. I can't lie. Yeah. But and then, and then, and then after this, you say we must win. Yeah. We have to win. Okay. So it doesn't make any sense. It does. But we have to win, bro. Yeah. If we win, that's Man City out of it. If you mate. don't win, it's a failure. If we don't if, win, listen, even though Man City are at their home, they haven't lost a game since December 2022. Yeah. Arsenal haven't won at home against Man City for ages. It, it's like 2015, if I'm not mistaken. That's like nine years ago. And then I hear some Arsenal fans say we must win. And if we don't win, it's this or that. And I'm like, but that's not that's not true. Like it absolutely like it doesn't make sense to me. Like you you have to win to win the title. You might have to, or you you put yourself in the best place to win the title to keep challenging. But you aren't favorites for that game. I would say a win is a plus. A draw is what is. Why really isn't good. it much win more? Why? Why isn't it? It is because a, a, Lee's okay, logic was the same as my logic. If let you me, beat City, you bury them. You bury let them. Me, let me explain to you. There is. A, I'm. I'm not saying it's not a must win. I'm just saying for the people that say if we don't win, it's a failure. We have to show that that this now. We have to show that. Yes, you do. But if you don't win, it's expected. If you ask Lee for predictions, he would tell you most likely than not. Yeah, yeah. Whilst Man City that's, will that's, win. That's, that's most that's most likely true. than was, not. Was, all the odds. Expected. Lee, all the odds. All the pundits, us as YouTubers, we all yeah, say that, that nobody winning, goes to the Etihad and favorites. No, but that doesn't stop you winning, though, does it? Just because nobody thinks you're favourites and nobody thinks you... Oh, it's like what I said That's earlier logic. at the start of the show. Nobody expected Arsenal to be in the title race. All the pundits and this and that. That doesn't stop Arsenal no, winning not, the league. That has nothing to do with it. It's a one game. You're it's going one to game the and it's one in. game that are we you, go Are you superior or inferior? You're going to the Etihad. Are you superior or inferior? It's at their ground, so that by itself is 30% extra for them. Same as Man City went to Liverpool. Liverpool had injuries. Already that gives them 30% Liverpool. Just playing at Anfield, playing at the Emirates. If Liverpool tomorrow go to the Emirates, that by itself gives Arsenal the edge. 
and then we'll talk about the teams, the squad, injuries, blah, 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 all the stuff. But the first thing we have to do is that some Arsenal fans are treating this as it's a neutral ground, as it's in Wembley, as it's in Madrid. It's not at the Etihad. And I'm like, are you guys like, Man City don't lose at the Etihad. If you win, I will be surprised. Right? Yeah, I, no, I understand right? what you're saying, but at the same time, if Arsenal are this all singing, all dancing, super great team at the top of the league with all these great players and a great coach and everything's wonderful and we're flying, and we're doing great, we're playing the best football, we've got the best defence, we've got the best goals scored, etc, 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 we'll go there and beat them then. And you're all yeah, of them, you and you're one point ahead of City. Race. All we'll of this, and you're one point ahead of City. All of this, what you said? And the fan base, oh my God. And we're praising Arsenal and we're all doing streams about Arsenal. You're one point ahead of City and you're going to their ground. So yeah, logically, you're actually, logically you're two points behind them. Actually, logically. Logically speaking, you're still two no, points no, no, behind no, City. No, 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 no. no, because this is, no, this is the mentality of losers and you're not a loser. You support no. Milan, bro. I'm right? telling you the difference. If Hossam today is going to the Etihad tomorrow and he's equal on points to City or one point, he would say City are the favourites to be ahead of us after this week. Am I wrong or right, Hossam? Yes. That's yes, it. you that's are my, right. That's but my that's logic. That's why I to beat them at Anfield. That's yes, why. thank you. That's yeah, my that's logic. Right. It has However, nothing though, to do with the team, them, bro. If we beat them, they're then four points behind us. Liverpool will beat Brighton. I think Man City are done. Come. Man City are done. Then then Man City, yes. Yes. Man City are done. Man City are yeah. Done. Yeah. So we have to go there and beat them. Because now we've put them out of the title race or put a massive dent in their title race. Yeah. Then it's just us and Liverpool. Now it's who's got the cojones to go to depth like all the way. Man City will keep going. They won't give up. But if we could both go four points clear of them, they're fucked. Yeah, let's be real. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think they're I done. It's very hard for them to catch two teams. No, this well. is now what we have to do is what they did to us last year. They had to go above us last year by winning the game. They can go above yeah. us by winning the game again. But we just rolled over and folded. We know they're not going to roll over and fold, but now we can put a massive dent in them because as soon as they went above us last season, we folded. Yeah, we didn't. They, win won't, they won't roll over. You know that. They, it won't be. It, it won't. won't be as easy. But at the same time, uh, if give me give me a percentage of you winning them? the game. Give me a percentage of winning you winning the game. If you remove your Arsenal 50. hat, remove your Arsenal hat. Your cousin yeah, no, no. is I, betting I on the game 50 because they're not as good to watch this season. But they've yeah. got better better players. And they've all got over the line, or the majority of them. They've got the best manager. Yes, it's at home. Um, and they're unbeaten at home since 2022. Cool. However, we're playing better than them. We've got a better defence than them. And we're scoring more than them. And we're playing better football than them. Yeah, and we've already beaten them this season. Twice. Once on pens, once at home. So why, why can't we go there and beat them? You can. Nobody said you cannot. Nobody but if, said if you I was to put a percentage on I'd say 50-50. Yeah, not only wow. that. Yeah, like I said, yeah. They're not, they're not been playing great, bro. If Chelsea can score four past them and Tottenham can score three past them, why can't we why can't we go and beat them? Yeah, because, because they aren't gonna play well against you like they're gonna play against uh Chelsea, just to but be they're at home, so at some point yeah. they're gonna have to go for it and have a go. And that's where we now pick I them think on the he break. respects Arteta and he respects what Arsenal are doing so much that he won't. I actually think he will change his way of playing because he knows that if he loses this game at home. It might be doom and gloom for him. If he loses yeah. and he's four points behind, he would rather take a draw and rely on you and Liverpool dropping point with the fixture list that you got with them putting Spurs between Wolves. You play Spurs between Wolves and, and West Ham the away. Result for Arsenal as well, Mo. Yeah, but, but yes, but he would rather not lose and get a draw because remember, they put the Merseyside Derby in between your games, so you have to play every three days. And tough games. They put the Spurs game. Arsenal will have to play three away games back to back. Back three Which away games. games. Spurs, I think Wolves, if I'm not mistaken, and wow. uh, West Ham or something like this. This is absolutely horrendous what the Premier League did to Arsenal and Liverpool. What they did to Arsenal is absolutely atrocious. What they did to Arsenal. Go look it up. I actually did predictions. And after I did it, I had to change my mind because they absolutely... No, we've, only, we've only got two. We've only got two. We've got Wolves. Um, then we've got Chelsea at home. No, we ain't. It's Chelsea. Yeah, bro, we ain't got two. We ain't. We've got Man City Chelsea, away. Chelsea, Chelsea, at home. Emirates. Brighton away. Bayern at home. Villa at home. Bayern away. Wolves away. Chelsea ah, at home. Chelsea, Spurs. Away. Chelsea, Spurs, Wolves. Yeah, that we ain't got two away games in a row in the league. No, not in the league. 
We ain't got two away back to back in the Liverpool league from now to end of the season. It's maybe Liverpool then. What I, mm. what I mean, they did the no the Merseyside derby is away, maybe. But they put the Spurs game. If you reach the semi final of the Champions League, bro. Yeah, that that first if we get the semi final of the Champions true, League, bro. first leg is three days after the North London derby. Yeah, it, it's and it's then the brutal, second leg, bro. the second leg will be three or four days um, before Man before United Man away. United away. <laughs> I mean, this is what we want. This is what I wanted. Yeah, I want big games like this. Yeah, this is why I want a Super League. Yeah, because I want to see big game after big game. Yeah, I want to see my team get better and beat these teams. I want my teams to go to the Etihad and beat them. Yeah, if we beat them, they're finished. They're done. They won't win the league. Then it's us and Liverpool. Yeah, and I still make Liverpool favourites. And the reason I make them favourites yeah, is because they've got um, the experience of doing it. Right? They've got an easier run in and they're in the Europa League. So they can potentially afford to rest players in that. If they go and slap out Atlanta at home, they could rest a few players. We can't rest against Bayern Munich away. Can't do that. Yeah, even if we win the game at the Emirates, we can't rest our players for that next game in the league by resting them at Bayern away. You can't do it. So, and the fact that they're doing it for Klopp and all of this, you know, they, they've they've got to win it. They've got to win it. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Can't, you couldn't you could wait to say that. You've been waiting all stream to get an opportunity to say it. No, listen, podcast. the trophies mean more in Liverpool, mate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they do. They do mean more. They do mean more. Big up Trent. Trent has rattled the entirety of the City fan base as well because he shoots them at the Etihad. Trent I still think, idiot, bro. You know, you know what it is, uh, Mo? Um, I feel Let's like... Let's go bathroom done... real quick, yeah? I'll be one minute. Yeah, that's fine. You've done the same thing before uh, Before City played the Liverpool at Anfield. You said the same thing. And I feel like this is the issue for me. Like, we're, uh, My problem is in title races, sometimes we ignore momentum. We cannot ignore momentum. We have to include momentum as part of this conversation. I, I'll give you an example. The reason why I hear Lee's argument on why is it must win, and the same thing I said for me, you're, what you're saying is logic. So everything you're saying, I agree with you. Because it's logical. So on paper, everything you're saying applies. Everything you're saying is correct, factually. But if we include the intangibles of the football conversation, which is momentum, which is stuff like this, suddenly the conversation shifts or changes. Because I'll give you a quick example. Had Liverpool beaten City at Anfield, there would be obviously four points ahead of them. And uh, and in, in the back of their mind, they still have to play Arsenal. They need, still have to play all of these teams. So the momentum would have shifted in, in some way, shape or form. So for me, momentum matters. That's why I wanted us to beat them. That's why, you know, I agree with Lee saying if he wants Arsenal to beat them, why it's must win game. Because in my opinion, in a title race, sometimes the intangibles matter more than the logic. What you're saying is logic. Do you guys know when the last time matter? City lost? Does anybody know when the last time City yes. lost? Yes. Last season, Brentford at home. No, no, no. Do you know when, when the last time City December. lost a game? December. Lost a game. Oh, last time we lost a game? December. Yeah. It's it's four months. December the first. Three months. It's four months almost when they play Arsenal. Mm. That's December why I'm like, if Arsenal win, I'll be surprised at the Etihad. However, I don't see... like, I would be surprised, but I wouldn't be like, oh my God, it's a shock. It's, it's an upset. It wouldn't be because Arsenal are playing well. But I don't know. I just don't see Arsenal winning this. If Arsenal win this game, it would be to be in credit to the players and everything. And I think Pep Guardiola... I actually think it would be a draw. <laughs> it might be After a draw. That, I think it would be a draw. But, uh, two, I predicted 2-1 Manchester City. But it depends massively on who plays. Because now the reports today is that John Stones and Kyle Walker and Akanji are injured. So who's going to play in the defense? Edison back. Edison isn't. He's saying he's 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 uh so that's what I'm saying. See if that's how bad to, so that's I, I don't want to say that's how bad city that's how man city this season are different than last time. Man City fans get upset when I say that. But I say if you're so worried when stones get injured back in the day, like last season, yes, you had the starting lineup, but Kevin De Bruyne went out in the Champions League final, Phil Foden stepped in, looked exactly the same. Uh, mm. When you sway when, against Spurs, you were losing 2 0. Riyad Mahrez comes on, complete wins you the game. You know what I mean? Like this season, you're worried. You don't know who's going to play left side. If Doku isn't cooking, is it going to be Grealish, who has had a stinker of a season? Or he has been injured the majority of the time? Is it going to be Kovacic and he's going to have a, a game like the game of the first game? Yeah, but he has Rodri with him. Yeah, who knows? Now he's playing against Arsenal. This man's <laughs> different. It depends on the lineup. By the way, if Kevin De Bruyne doesn't play, 
it's long for them. It's going to be long. Erlingan is going to be isolated. It's going to be long for them. Saliba. Saying, this is what I'm saying. It's 50 50. But it depends. If Man City have, if this is all mind games and John Stones play and Kevin De Bruyne plays and Man City have their starting 11, well, what are we saying then? Man? If if all of this is just, if if you say, if Ederson is back and, and Kevin De Bruyne is back, Haaland plays and they have Stones is playing or Kyle Walker, okay, so they have a starting 11. Okay, they, they should be all right then because every time Kevin De Bruyne played with Erling Haaland, they did some magic together. And, uh, it depends. It depends on the there line. There will be no magic this Sunday, Mo. Arsenal are winning at the Etihad. That's my own. Is that a hope or logical? No, logical. It, it, looks, like I, it's, I it, it looks like it's the virus talking, but fine. No, that's not the virus talking. That's actually, <laughs> I am actually, I fully believe, dizzy, I fully though. believe Arsenal are beating City. Why is that is a crazy it, opinion, Mo? It's Why not, it's, like, it's, 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 bro, it's, it's not, it's not. By the way, you, I never, I didn't say it's crazy. I said, I am actually responding to the people that say that yes, Arsenal are uh, should win this game. Arsenal are the team that is favors to win. Yeah, this but game. that's like, what I've, no. I've been trying to convince you. Lee's right. Why you ignore the momentum side of things? Because City had momentum as you... well, bro. City before drawing City drawing to Liverpool at Anfield isn't a back step. Before that, they freaking won seven games as well. What are we saying? Why did yeah, Lee say that was since the first week of December in any competition? So yeah. that's a momentum as well. That that by itself is momentum. Like you're ignoring. The thing is, they're not playing well though. They're, they're, like, yeah, they, I agree Arsenal with that. Did, but, I agree with that. But they're not playing great. They're scraping through games. Yeah. yeah whereas we're not. Yeah. Well, I, I, fair enough. We scrape through Porto, but in the league, we ain't scraping past anyone. We're battering everyone. Brentford. That's true. Yeah, like, you know, even, even the Brentford game. Yeah, I know the scoreline says two one. Yeah, but right, and that game was oh, I made that game drive me nuts. Ramsey. Yeah, but that's because we just kept missing chances. Yeah, whereas Man City ain't really been creating many chances. Yeah, we're creating. Yeah, we're getting loads of chances. It's just we ain't clinical enough sometimes, but we're getting enough chances to blitz teams. Yeah, and when we're on it, I know we're not going to go to it and win five nil. <laughs> I'm not that stupid, but if we're going to win, it's going to be one goal in it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And if Arsenal win this game. City how, much you give, how much do you give your chance to winning the league, actually? I think if we beat them, I think we could win it. I'm not going to say we will win it. I did this after beating Man United last season. I got all giddy and carried away and then egg on my face. I ain't doing that again. <laughs> yeah, but I'd, it'd give us a great chance. The one thing I will say is these players all go on social media these days. Yeah, they're yeah. All got, they've got burner accounts and everything. They're not going to go on on their real names and stuff like that. They watch everything, bro. They watch the videos. They watch Twitter. Yeah, they watch yeah. Instagram. Yeah, so... They're, I just hope that they don't believe their own hype if we beat Man City because then you know that the fan base is going to be giddy and rightly so we beat Man City but this fan base is giddy anyway yeah but now if we go and do the double over City in the same season this fan base is going off the charts like we've won the league yeah, yeah they and, already and, did and it last year it, if we don't win it it'd be like when we did the double over Leicester and they won the league <laughs> you know what I'm saying so you know I just hope that the players and the manager have learned from last season. Don't get too carried away. Don't get too hype. If we beat City, great result. We've kind of buried them a little bit. Yeah, but we still got to get over the line. And then it's what, nine more games to go? Eight more games to go? It's eight, innit? We played 29, so that'll be 30. Yeah, yeah there'll be nine. There'll be nine games to go. There's 10 games left. There'll be nine games to go. Mm. Yeah. And that's the it's... thing. You just got to manage them games now because we we gave up after losing to City last season. Yeah, as soon as they battered us, we gave up. They went above us, one point above us, and we just gave up. Yeah, drew with Liverpool, drew with West Ham, drew with Southampton, just gave up. So it actually, it depends. I don't think if Arsenal lose this game, they are out of the title race completely. You'll be three points behind the league leaders, which is going to oh, be Liverpool. Come on, Liverpool, Liverpool, man, come on. Yeah, well, I come think on. now I'm talking logic. No, I think psychologically it'll kill them. Yeah, yes, because that's the, that's going to be the problem. Because it's going to be, be the head yes, down. PTSD and stuff. from last season. Oh, here, here we go again. Yeah, or we learn from that and we come back and fight back and then go and battle Luton um, on Wednesday. As long as it's one game drift, I'm still going to say you're in it. Once it's two games, I think it's too much for any mm. team to catch two. Even four games. points. Four points is too yeah, much. Two games drift. No, that's too much. Mm. That's, why, that's why it's so important we beat them because we put them four behind us. Liverpool should beat Brighton. Yeah, and we all know what's happened before we start our game. Yeah, we've both got to win anyway. You know, it's as simple as that, the psychological aspect of it. You just got to go out and win and set up for a win. If we're setting up for a draw, we're losing. Yeah, just go out. No, and he won't. Out. He won't. He doesn't do this. I don't think he will. 
Mikel Arteta isn't going to do this. But he's going to be careful, though. He doesn't want to lose, though. He doesn't want to lose. He, yeah. He's not going to leave Spain. All we've got to do is play how we played lose. the Emirates against him. At the Emirates, we didn't really have a go at them. We had, I think we had yeah. Martin Ali shot and deflected in. That was about it. <laughs> like, but that's how you've got to play against them sometimes. Yeah. yeah? Like, I don't care if we stink our way through this game. It's a double deflected goal off of the referee's backside. No, I don't care. Right, I'll take that win. But furthermore, as well, I've seen a lot of people talking about Anthony Taylor being the referee for this game. Bring it on. He's won Arsenal two FA Cups, mate. Yeah, he's the ref in our last two FA Cup wins. Bring Anthony Taylor on. He deserves a statue at the Emirates. Yeah, he sent off Victor Moses for a second yellow for diving in the 2017 final. Yeah, and then he sent off um, Kovacic in the 2020 final. <laughs> when it should have been Xhaka getting the second yellow card, he sent off Kovacic instead. <laughs> So, yeah, bring on Anthony Taylor. We've won the game, lads. Every time he's in charge of Arsenal, yeah, I'm confident we're going to win the game. I think yeah, Arsenal, I think Man City are due a bad call, to be honest with you. Uh, they're due a yes, bad call. they're the only team who has a bad call now. Season. Come on. Only they're due a bad call. They have had only one against, they have had a few this season, though, against Wolves. Um, Bro, Wolves they scored a goal from a free kick that should have been in Cunha. Like this goal, yeah. goal Konya was like so tripped, and I said it's a free kick, and the referee is like, "Oh, yeah, let's go." And then they win a free kick, and they scored the goal. Fair, they, 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 they were clean yeah. through on goal against Tottenham, and the ref blew the blew the whistle back for a free kick. <laughs> they were clean through, man. Grealish was gone. That was Grealish, and that yeah, was a then, play. And, and, then, and, then, and, then, and all the Spurs defenders are faster than Grealish. Let's so yeah, but guess what? Berlin Haaland's really. faster than all of them, and Grealish could have won a free kick, a penalty, held the ball up, squared it. Haaland's in. Yes, we never know what would happen, but the chances are there's a good chance they were going to score, right? And it was the last seconds of the game, and he brought it back. Not only that, against Wolves, he Chan should have been sent off for a second yellow. He stayed on the pitch and then scored the winner, and that's when Wolves beat him two one. Yeah, but I'm not going to dwell on the second yellows because there's so many players in the league that should have gotten a second yellow and they they weren't sent off. Rodri should have been sent off about five times this season. <laughs> In his career, probably the guy skipped like 70 yellow cards, bro. <laughs> yeah, he, yellow he, cards. Must have, he must have the best ratio. Ah, the, 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 penalty, bro, the penalty, the penalty against Liverpool. Are we kidding ourselves? The guy, oh, yeah, that, that what's his guy? Penalty. This guy is, yeah. is, is disgusting. Isn't he the guy, Michael Oliver, that called the penalty? I remember for Real Madrid against Juventus in the uh, semi final of the Champions League, if I'm not mistaken. The three yes, goals. that was the guy. Oh, that Real guy bottle Cuban, bro. Yes. What an absolute bottle job, this guy, Michael Oliver. He scared. Oh, come on. That was a penalty, bro. That was absolutely a penalty. Listen, they eight. haven't been City is the only club this season that have been shafted by referees. My club has had four PGML apologies. Your club the same Lee. I think you've had three apologies already. So I'm not gonna I'm, I'm I'm not gonna do this whole. Oh, all the clubs get bad decisions against them. Yeah, all except City. Let's just that's, that's what I always say. <laughs> all of them get bad decisions against them except Manchester City because it's it's true. Like I, I, as as mad as it sounds, it is true. They never have bad decisions go against them. And and when when rules apply to other teams, they don't apply to City. How many how many players, Lee? Because you see, you want to do this whole oh referees are bad generally type shit. How many times this season has your players gotten a yellow card for dissent? How many? How many have you seen it with your own eyes as soon as the guy complains or moans or stuff? Probably probably about like, what, 10 times this season? Probably yeah. around, around that it's number. Not that many. It's not that many. Yeah, but... For, for we haven't actually had that many yellow cards, if I'm being honest. Okay, we, we've that's been, fine. We've been fortunate with a few as well because against Luton, Kivior should have been sent straight off. Yeah, he, he high tackle, studs up, nearly broke the geezer's leg. Didn't even get booked. Okay, that's fair. And that that's was a straight fair. red card. So, we've, uh, listen, for Arsenal this season, I've watched every minute of every game, yeah? For Arsenal this season, we've not had many yellow cards. We've had some dodgy ones, but everyone gets dodgy ones. But yeah. we've also been lucky in a few games as well. Like, very lucky. Like, Havertz should have been sent off the other day. Yeah, he stays on and scores the winner. Yeah, like, you know, there's been other ones where, like I said, Kivior should have been straight red. That was against Luton, the game we nicked it in stoppage time 4-3. With, again, we might not have gone on a one four three. You know what I'm saying? So it's for, for Arsenal this season, I think it's been pretty balanced. Yeah, I know yeah, that okay. no, they got, no, got handball, but yeah, times, but I'm, this is like, for me, it even itself out. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying I'm I'm I genuinely, genuinely believe in my heart to heart city just don't get bad decisions against them. Honestly, yeah, but I, that that comment because they have the ball all the time. 
Arteta's missed games because of yellows, bro. Arteta's probably our most booked, uh, most booked uh, member of Go staff on. this season. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is with these Spanish managers here. Xavi gets sent off nearly every week for Barcelona. They're annoying. They're annoying on the touchline. They're passionate. Yeah. They're annoying. The only one who isn't is Pep. He just sits there sipping on his water. No, he's so annoying. Really but some that, because he's, he's, he's so annoying. annoying Pep. He's so annoying. He's annoying. Come so on. annoying. They're all, to be honest, Arteta's annoying as well. The Spanish managers are and Luis Enrique on the touchline. The guy said, no, that's fuck. He's so it's annoying. Funny. Barcelona's last game, Xavi got booked. Yeah, And, and then the next foul happened. Next thing, the ref went straight up and sent him straight off. Didn't even give him a second yellow, just sent him straight off. <laughs> and that was his first game back, yeah, after doing a ban for being sent for being too many yellow cards. They're all annoying. It's not only, it's not only to be honest, it's not only like Pep. Arteta is the same. Una, Una has been booked a few the times. Spanish guys are and, but also to be honest, uh majority of the like look at the Zerbi, he's annoying. The majority of the managers now are becoming so annoying. Look at Jurgen Klopp. Oh my god, the guy there you are moans and complains like he's gotta be the worst man. I can't lie. Bro, but he's the worst. Jurgen Klopp winning is the greatest guy. Klopp is a lunatic, I will admit it. Bro, when he loses, Hussein, you don't understand from from a rival. Like if if you're watching Liverpool and the guy is losing, it's he's like he complains and moans and jumps on the touchline. If he's winning, it's very nice to watch him do the fan thing and <laughs> hug his players. It's very, it's great. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, passionate, emotional. Klopp is a lunatic. I know. I when he loses, I, I bro, it's annoying. It's, it's so yeah. annoying when he loses the game. I hear you. I hear you. Like, so I, I, I want to talk about, uh, you know, the other two clubs next. I want to hear you guys' opinions in a second. Big up to Frank. He says, Hussam, oh, still uh, trying this. Remember the Titans Netflix special for Liverpool? <laughs> Remember the Titans? I I don't know what that is. Anyway, if a you movie, lose Drogba, bro, a movie. I never watched never that watched movie. It. It's a fantastic movie. Denzel Washington. No, I've never watched it. What's Remember the amazing Titans? Movie. Are it's you saying I'm playing movie. an underdog, basically? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but this is what Lord. you do. You always downplay Liverpool. You make out like you're some massive football club, and then you're always the underdog. Like, how does that work? He's he's scared to be. Clear. Lee, you do the same thing for Arsenal. Who's the favorite to win the league this season? Man City. Liverpool. No, I think it's Man City. Now you're it's the Liverpool. Easiest, you have the best run in and you're in the Europa League. City have the easiest run in, not us. No, 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 no. Yes, they do. It's yes, a they do. Crap. It's a lot of crap. Yes, they do. I, I can literally name four tough fixtures for us. I cannot, I cannot name more than two tough fixtures for City. Their fixture Bro? list is so easy. It's literally Bro? Arsenal at home and Spurs away. That's it. That's it. The other eight game. This is this is what I've been trying to say for the longest. And people think I'm actually playing a, a, a narrative. I'm not. I'm really not. I genuinely believe what I say. The last ten games, eight of them City can win with their bench. City share can, the screen. Can win with share bench. the screen. They have the easiest plan. I, I will. But let me just read. The, just yeah, let me yeah. read the other super chat. But then higher. Um, if you lose draw versus Brighton, you think it's absolutely done, Sam? Yes. Liverpool cannot afford to drop points in any more games. If if we drop points in any more games, we're out of it. I just don't believe we'll have what it takes to just climb back up and stuff. So I, I fully believe we have to go flawless from now to the end of the season. No pun intended. Uh, does Mo think we can impact the title? Inter can impact the title race for the Champions if they draw Manchester City or Arsenal, considering they're one of the favourites in the Champions League. <laughs> I think I think Liverpool can do that. Uh, after you win in the quarter final of the Champions League, I think you actually whoever you get in the semi final of the Champions League, bro. Whoever you you get in the Champions League semi final, one hundred percent. Okay, okay. Listen, I do want to get to Liverpool and City now. You get me because I want to hear Lee's opinions on my club and City as well and stuff because it's not just we don't want to just talk about Arsenal the whole stream because this is the title race video um there's 900 people in here big up to all of you guys please slap the like button right now please subscribe to this football guys let's get to 500 likes ASAP we're currently on 400 well done we hit our initial target so please hit the like button right now subscribe uh, and I do want to talk about the the the, the running and as well shout out to just Joe big up to you uh, my leads brother for for uh, for the redirect and i hope you guys get promoted as well so big up to you thank you so much habibi um for the raid uh we're gonna have to check liverpool fans for ticks and fleas how much they cry underdogs james <laughs> i'm genuinely gonna explain it if lee and mo actually allow me to explain it i will and you will actually see why i'm being very logical 
because people keep ignoring the context and nuances and they just look on paper. I don't care about on paper. I'm talking about things that, you know, there are games that are, I'll explain it now in a second. Big up to you, James Bond, though. Thank you. Like and subscribe, guys. So this is this is the run-in, okay? This is the run -in. Let me get this super chat off the screen. Okay, Mo. Let me explain first, and then you both can cook, and you can fight. The only you thing is that the Chelsea is. game and the Everton game are moved. Okay, let me explain. Oh. Let me explain. Oh, God. Let me explain. Forget my club and Lee's club for a second. Let's just look at City. City, Arsenal at home, tough. Spurs away, tough. I genuinely believe. Genuinely, honestly, no agenda, no narrative. The other eight games they can win with their bench. They can genuinely win with their no, Bright, 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 Brighton haven't lost since September at home. Just to let you know. And Aston Villa, Aston Villa, yeah, beat them already this season. Aston Villa at home, though. Yeah, played them off we the park. We beat them 3-0 And if, any, if anyone's set up to beat them at the Etihad, it's probably Unai Emery. And also yeah, they, have Real, they, have, they have Real Madrid three days after this or four days after this. Exactly. Yeah, but them playing Champions League football is their bread and butter. No, but they, They've been no, doing no, yeah, but, but they don't now. have the squad now. They don't have the squad like last year. They, they can. Bro, like, they just can. Yeah, also, that's a good comment from Foyf in the chat as well. They struggle against Palace every year. They've already lost to uh, Drew with Palace this season at the Etihad. And they were 2-0 oh. up in that game. Oh, that's funny and, because Brighton are our bogey team and we play them too. Mm. Yeah, that's why I don't think I don't think you're. You know, you know why Liverpool. I, I, no, no, no. But I, I do, um, for example, I don't think Arsenal against Brighton away from home is just as easy as people want to make it. No, the Derby at home just doesn't. For some reason, they got to lose. Oh, the Derby hype! Come on, Mo. The, man. the thing with the thing with that Brighton game, yeah, is right, you, you, you can either batter them five 0 or you're getting beaten three 0 Yeah, <laughs> there's no in between. Yeah, and he beat us last season. At the Emirates, although that's away this season, I think we've done them last season at their ground, but that was when we were playing well before the World Cup. But he, he just loves to play the underdog, like he's trying to make out Brighton away is an easy game. No, someone wants to tell us that Everton away is, is a tough game for Liverpool. Everton, Everton away, brother. You see, this is my problem with people like you, Mo. You ignore nuances, whether you like it or not, it's not about on paper. That's is this the, the intangibles you were speaking about? Is this what we're talking yes, about? Yes, the intangibles. <laughs> I fully believe we have four fixtures we could drop points in. Man United away, Everton away, Aston Villa away, because that's away from home, not Arsenal. Well, Everton would have stayed up by then, so they're, they're happy. No. Yep. How do you no, know Everton game enough? shifted. So the problem, yeah, the with this, so the problem is that the, 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 the league actually screwed Liverpool. They play Fulham away. So this is how yeah. the, the fixtures list took. Atalanta away, Fulham away, Everton away, I think to, uh, Atalanta at home, and then West Ham away. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? But you see how I'm going to be fair? Bro. I think as well, you know the reason why, one of the other reasons as well why I think City have the easiest run in. When you look at their last three games, they're essentially, their last three games are three teams on the beach. On the beach by then. Wolves, West Ham, and Fulham. By the time these games happen, all three teams, they're in mid-table. They have nothing to fight for. They're on the beach. It depends also when you play these teams. You see, when I'm talking about the intangibles, you guys laugh at me. Man United Liverpool is the biggest game in English football. Aston Villa away from home is extremely tough, not like at home. If we were playing Villa at home, I wouldn't consider it a tough game. 100% I wouldn't. And then we've got the Merseyside Derby. And then after that, we have... Uh, where's the fourth fixture? Mo? There's another one. Tottenham. Spurs. Spurs at home. Spurs at home is a more logical one than, a, than an intangibles one because we haven't beaten except one top six side this whole season in Chelsea. We've beaten one. Oh, one, one more Sam, there's one, one more thing you're forgetting. Yes. But based on your logic, your but logic. But that's why I've said Arsenal Hold and Spurs. On. Your logic, me? not me, not uh, somebody, not Jurgen Klopp. You said that Arsenal and Man City will go through, so they play each other. Yes. That by itself gives you a couple of points. No, yes. why not? No, what? Why it not? might give what? a couple of points why? from an no. Arsenal perspective, See? not from a city perspective. What? Mo, this is what they do. They've been doing this six years. UCL Prem, UCL Prem, UCL Prem. They've been doing this for the last six years, seven years, Mo. It, they're not Bro, new they... to the team. Are you? Do, do you're you're making out that this is your first time challenging for a title. 
I'm not saying it's our first time. Okay. I'm just saying we have, <laughs> yeah, we have the four. toughest runner, in my opinion. We have four tough fixtures. How would you have the toughest running? We have Man City. We have Brighton away. We have Tottenham away. We have Man United away. And we have Chelsea at home. Chelsea at home, you're going to smack them. And Aston Villa at home. And Aston Villa, listen, he's going to want to come, come and stop our parade, isn't he? Hassan, there is no, Hassan, there is no like argument about it. Opta already did this and they analyzed every team's position and everything. Opta told us Arsenal are running the league last season as well. So where do we go from here? Yeah, yeah, we should do. Their bottle job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Opta, 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 otherwise, Opta. Hold on. Otherwise, we would not have called it that. If, if yeah, why should I listen to Opta? If they weren't predicted to win the league last season, it would not have been a bottle job. It's a bottle job if you're predicted and expected to win something. Hassan, you have the easiest fixture. City are behind no, we you don't. because they are I in the Champions League. Believe, intangibles is a new buzzword as well. It's intangibles. It's not a buzzword. <laughs> it's literally Everton a buzzword. Everton in the Merseyside derby. It's not a buzzword. Hey, look, look, look at them, look at them at games. Let's just be real with this. Yeah? Let's just be real with this, right? You've yes. got Brent, uh, Brighton. At home, it's not away, so you should okay. beat them. Yeah, they ain't got okay, Trossard to come and score a hat trick at your ground anymore. He plays for us, right? Okay. Sheffield United are going to batter them. Man United are going to batter them. All right, no, let's just based, be on what? based on what? based See, on the what? last game, based based on you, based on you playing them out of the park last game when it was their cup final, and you literally were so the FA Cup game top you Sam, Sam, me and you did a couple of streams after, and you said that that game proves that Liverpool can absolutely batter Man United. You literally That's gave it. them Hold the him game. Mo. Hold him no, no, you I literally said, gave them the game. Sam, it's when on the last one, bro. It's recorded. Okay, go show me the clip. I've never Hassan, said that. Sam, see what Allah, me and you said didn't. Bro, didn't Allah, I've never this. said that. I've always thought yeah, United the way is the toughest fixture. What do you mean, better them? I've never said that. You, Hassan, you had the game in your Hassan. I was actually the only one pre the FA Cup game to say that we're not going to lose, we're not going to beat them. I'm going to copy your word. You said Liverpool in the league will not be as complacent as what we did when we had the ball for 70 right. minutes against Man United. Did you or did right. you not say that? No, I did not say that. <laughs> no, I didn't. You're confusing me with someone else. I promise you I did not say that. Mo, I swear I've been saying Man United the way I'm not going to check it now because the freaking hour was three hours or two and a half hours. Yeah, okay. Go check it first. I've I'm never, not I've never seen now. that. I really people have never said that. Tell him, people. Exactly. And then they've got Palace at home. Well, they're winning that. Yeah. They should beat Fulham. Okay. They should beat West Ham. Tottenham, mm -hmm. okay, fair enough. Now, West again, Ham, at Fulham away is tough for Liverpool, to be honest. This is, this is a tough game. Well, let's say that's one tough game so far then, yeah? All right? Fulham away. West Ham so they're beating. is not tough. Wow. No, yeah, but you just played them. You're not hearing the logic about Man United. You literally played them. They went 1-0 up. It's the biggest the game in things. English football, more. It's the biggest game in English football, and you've slapped them most times. I know you got knocked out the cup the other day, but guess what? You yeah. knocked us out the cup, and then we beat you in the league. So why yes, can't that work for you beating them? Yeah, that's fair, but it's at Old Trafford, though. Can and I ask yeah, you? Let me what ask you mean, Old Trafford, 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 where they're conceding twenty shots against Luton and Brighton and Brentford and everyone else and Bournemouth? Okay, I, yeah, come on. I, I, you, I, you, I, you, I, 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 I am just. I want to use the same logic, Hussam. Are Arsenal's chances of beating Man City at Dead Hat bigger than your chances of beating Man United at Old Trafford? Simple, simple answer. Huh? <laughs> Say that again. I are Arsenal chances of beating Man City at the had bigger than your chances beating Man United at Old Trafford. While you're laughing, Mo, you know what happened, don't, right? Don't be disrespectful. Uh... You know <laughs> of course, of course, we have a bigger chance of beating them. Oh, than, than Thank City you. Game. So that's an easy game then. Uh, yeah, Palace, yeah. easy game. Fulham, we've said it's hard. West Ham, you'll beat. Tottenham's at home, you should beat them. And they're set up perfectly for you to batter them on the counter. Yeah, Aston Villa away, tough game. Wolves at home, sorry Wolves, but you're getting pammed. No net, home, no party. Yeah, and then Everton, well, it doesn't really matter. They're, they're going to stay up either way. They couldn't care less. My, 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 the only game I hard game. genuinely believe we could Two drop points in. You got, you got no, but that's, away in Aston okay, Villa. But, that's okay, but this is where we disagree. Because for me, Man United, Everton, Spurs and Villa, those four games. <laughs> Same way you guys mentioned Fulham, I don't. I don't personally think Fulham away is a tough game for us. So even, even, even a game that you think is tough, I don't think is tough, which is fair. But I'm just saying four games, I genuinely think we could drop points in. This okay, we've, issue, we've, got, we've, got, we've got Man City, we've got Brighton away. Aston Villa at home, by the way, is just after buying. I don't think Brighton away is tough. Brighton away is tough. 
I, I don't think that. I, I, I don't rate him. I, I, I don't think... think he's a good manager, but it is a tough game because listen, we've we've got we've got to play Brighton away. Yeah. In fact, when is that fixture? Um sorry. Because we've got Aston Villa oh, sandwiched yeah, in between the two sorry, Bayern yeah. Munich games. Ego. This is the final yeah. table. It's the final points. These are my predictions. Ooh. You you went what 90 Liverpool 89 89. Yeah, I hope you're right, but I just don't see it happening. I'll be honest. Yeah, see, we, we've got we've got Luton, then Brighton. Yeah, then we've got Bayern Munich three days after Brighton. We could have one eye on that game. Yeah, then then we've got Aston Villa sandwiched in both the Bayern games. So listen, that, them them games ain't easy. So Man City, Brighton, Aston Villa, Tottenham, and Man United, we always struggle away. There's five, and then Chelsea, six. So there's six hard games we've got. You've only got four. I, I you know what, Lee? I the only disagreement on your fi- your specific fixture list is I just don't think Brighton away is tough, and I just don't think Villa at home is is tough. So we literally agree on like eighty percent. I actually say for the four f- tough fixtures for you are United away, actually three. Sorry, United away, City away, and Spurs away. Those for me really are tough fixtures. So I'm agreeing. So no, but no, nothing to do with Man City, then, no? No, no, I just said City, you, United. You think Man City and... will win every game? No, no, City. If you look at the City running, uh, listen, I'm, I swear, I wish I'm doing agendas, I'm not. I fully believe they're going to win eight of the games with their bench. I'm not even exaggerating. It's bench. literally you and Spurs, Lee. You know, you know, you know, you know, this Sunday. Many Liverpool fans are going like, I want a draw. You know what I want? I want Arsenal to beat City. I, I'm going to be singing Arsenal songs this Sunday. Because in the next eight games, people keep thinking it's a narrative. I, I genuinely believe, I genuinely believe it's literally just Arsenal and Spurs. And the other eight games, dead ass, they can win with their bench. I don't think Honestly. so. I don't think they can Have win. You seen their bench? I don't think they can win. I, I just think they they have can two win. goalkeepers on the bench, Mo. No, sorry Bro, for Two goalkeepers on the bench, yeah. They've got Oscar Bob and Rico Lewis on the bench. Right, so there's four players. Yeah, they've got Grealish on the bench. There's five. Julian Alvarez. And Julian Alvarez. There's six. Who else they got on the bench? Matthias Nunes. Nunes. Kanji. And Kovacic. Do you think think them players could go and win eight out of them ten games? You're mad. Yes. They 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 ain't got Gundogan. They ain't got Cole Palmer. They ain't got Mares. Yeah, they haven't got, um, what's his name? Cancelo. They haven't got Laporte anymore. Yeah, there's five players they binned in the summer. Yeah, they ain't replaced them. What they replaced them with Doku, Kovacic, Nunes, and Mardial. Sorry, mate, that's a mad downgrade. How are you okay, replacing you know Mahrez's 30 GA? How are you replacing Gundo's 20 GA? Uh, I think we just disagree on which games are tough and which aren't, which is fair because you cannot always agree. Like, this is the reality. Um, I think all of us uh, have made a point. I just, for me, I just, I, I just don't think Liverpool will win it. Look, for me, the only way we win it is if we go flawless. That's bro. It. And speaking of Liverpool, you know, we've kind of, if we're going to, kinda... if, if Pep Guardiola wins the league this year, yes, your manager is absolutely is going to be in the mud. This guy's going to have won six Why's league titles, bro. Bro, I'm being serious. Can you imagine this guy yeah. have won four Pete and it was in six leagues, and your manager won one. And that would mean you crumbled that, three times under oh, Sam. That don't means you crumbled three that. times don't under pressure, that. bro. He's is is gonna leave a legacy. He's leaving a legacy, guys. And Gareth Southgate is linked to the job. So no, 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 we're not gonna get Southgate. He's no, no. How do you know this? Are you on the board of directors? Yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> I am. I am. You get me. I'm the. You know, I'm the Jordanian the Liverpool ambassador of Liverpool Football Club, so they send me this type of deal. We're not getting Southgate. We're not getting Southgate. Well, your, your ex-player, Glenn really Johnson, know. mate, has tipped Southgate to do a great job at Liverpool. Might get the Zerbi, though. Oh, my Lord. Lord the Zerbi would be hilarious at Liverpool because like, I think a lot of Liverpool fans would be quite happy with that. And then they'll realise real quick he's crap. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, me and you agree on the Zerbi. I think the Zerbi is a hipster. I don't think it would work at Liverpool. I think it would work. I don't like the Zerbi at all. I love. I don't like him at all. I genuinely have so much disdain for him. Like mm. I just don't like the guy. I don't like the Zerbi. I want. I want Alonso if he wins the league with Leverkusen. I wouldn't mind Amarim from Sporting. Top option for me, if it's possible, would be Zidane. But speaking of Liverpool, I want to get you guys' opinion on my club before. 
I don't want to keep you guys for too too long because we have spoken about City and Arsenal as well. So just on on Liverpool, obviously, because you guys keep throwing digs and shit, might as well just open up the can of worms. Um, what what have you made of Liverpool this season? Let me let me go to Lee actually because I haven't heard his opinion on it yet. You get me? Go on, Lee. Talk to me about my club this season. <laughs> well, you absolutely bottled it the other day in the cup. Um, you probably should have lost the cup final. Just Chelsea couldn't finish their dinner. And um, the fact that you're up there is is pretty mad, considering that you rebuilt the whole midfield in one summer. <laughs> so, listen, he's a quality manager. He's a very good manager. I think like the fact that you've had Salah out for so long with the AFCON and then injury, the fact that you've had Robertson out, I think he went off injured yesterday as well for Scotland. Um, the fact that you've had a lot of players out injured this season and you're still there and you're in the next round of the, uh, the Europa League, against Atalanta, who I think you'll beat comfortably. Um, the fact you've already bagged one cup. But, yeah, you've uh, you've impressed me, I can't lie, because I think you've got about 20-odd points more than you had this time last year. Yeah. So, yeah, you've done well. But one thing I'll say is, if he doesn't win that league title, yeah, does he, does he actually genuinely go down as, like, one of the greatest managers in the Premier League? Right? Because I've seen this debate. I wanted to ask you this, yeah? And I'm not trying yes. to rattle you or anything like that. Right? Arsene Wenger won three league titles and i'm not talking about champions leagues and fa cups and domestics and all that straight premier league yes yeah putting the pressure on and finishing one point behind sorry he didn't win arsene wenger won three jose Mourinho won three fergie won 13 peps won five like what are we doing here like is, I, I'll is, tell you how is I like that one. with one league title and is going down as a premier league legend no I, i'm telling you the I'll same tell amount you as Ranieri right now Okay. okay. And, and the same matters can be Dalglish. Okay, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why it's it's, it's different for Klopp. First of all, uh, I don't like... Here we go, Mo. Get, 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 get sit back. Me, me, let me answer, brother. Let me answer. Because it means brother, more. Let me Liverpool. answer first. Let me answer. My answer will surprise you, you know. I don't put him above four of, of the guys you mentioned. I don't think he's above Wenger. I don't think he's above Mourinho. I don't think he's above Pep. And I don't think he's above... I don't think he's above Ferguson, obviously. So I think he takes fifth fifth spot. That's fair. I'm not saying anything mad. Yeah, but, but hold on. Yeah, that's fair. How that's not a crazy is, comment. How, nah, at how far is he from them, though? From the okay, that's down. a great question, Mo. If because he, wins he can this... be he can be in a conversation with the fourth, or he can be like levels below the fourth. Okay, Wenger Mourinho, right? That's the fourth and the f and 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 the fifth, in my opinion. Yeah, oh, sorry, the third and the fourth, huh? So in yes. my opinion, it's and they are very and close to each other. In my opinion. okay, f perfect, perfect. If if Liverpool win this league title with this team, he surpasses them. He surpasses them, in my opinion. Yes, but because he's still below the Ferguson Champions League. because of the Champions yes League. with the Champions League. But he's still below Ferguson. By the way, he does not surpass Mourinho overall as a manager. But he only surpasses him in England. We're saying, Yanni, that's the thing. So that's that's what I'll say. Yeah. And, and by the way, you even said this yourself, Mo. Uh, you know, you fraud. You said you just believe Klopp is just the unluckiest manager of all time. Yeah, but that's that. But that's but here's my point. I but I, Mo, I, I, put I believe now, am I, being I believe I believe he is because in small details, Klopp could have won the Champions League and could have won the league twice. But the facts are, we will not remember these details. You know, nobody remembers that Wenger lost the league this. Everybody remembers one thing. Arsene Wenger won three league titles. That's it. Yes. No one that's remembers. Why Klopp... No, but more. That's why I put Club fifth. I'm being very fair. Like I think people, people, people think that in You're ten years me. will people think that in ten years we'll be talking about one point behind Pep. Bro, nobody, nobody remembers <laughs> that Man United lost the league title in the last game goal difference I'm against Chelsea in 2010. Mm. Nobody remembers that. They scored nine goals. If I'm not it was some some kind of something like this. Nobody remembers that. All everything we remember that Ancelotti won the league with Chelsea in 2010. Yeah, look, look at when City, look at when City done it on goal difference against United last day of the season. Aguero. Yeah, nobody remembers. Yeah, that. nobody cares. Yeah. They just go, yeah, Man City, Aguero. Nobody cares. The Man United leveled points. Yeah, and this is what I'm saying. So he's not a Premier League legend then with one title because if if he is, then so is Ranieri. No, but Ranieri fact, is a fact, it was even harder for Ranieri, Ranieri to do it. Ranieri, Ranieri is a really, You should, you should really Ranieri. have Ranieri above Klopp because Ranieri did it with a team that should have been relegated. 
Yeah, and he got them all the way up to winning the title. Yeah, we've got one of them. You ain't. It's called a gold. It's called a gold trophy. Bro. No, no. It's called this, this league is <laughs> called the big years. You get me? It's called the yeah, we're big not years. We're talking about Premier League. This is what you're doing. No, you're trying to change sparkle, the narrative. It's not, like, it's not like he manages a different club in Europe. It's the same club he manages in Europe. This, this is the reality. It's the same club he manages in Europe. By the way, Pep Guardiola as well got, got pushed up in this conversation as soon as he won the Champions League with Man City. This is the reality. Because yeah, but Pep, hold on. Pep, Pep's, also, Pep's also won five Premier League titles at Man City. Yes, that's why he's won second. five League Cups at Man City. He's done a treble with Man City. Yes, that's why he's second. He's like he's clear of second. You know what, Lee? I've been very fair, but you were running agendas. I put club. Oh, I, just, I just go with facts. Trophies over anything, Mo. Come on. Yeah, I'll, I'll that's manager fuck, that's who's fair. got the same amount of Premier League trophies as Claudio Ranieri be considered to be a great Premier League manager. We're talking about Europe. We're talking it's about Premier right, League. Yeah. But he manages the same club in the time. Yeah, but, though, then, yeah, but you're not answering the question because then I was going to come to the next part of the question, which was how would you rate him overall if he walks away with just the League Cup this season in his whole Remember that, career? But, but Lee, here's the thing. I ranked him fifth. Me putting him fifth is very I think fair. he should be sixth. I think Ranieri should be above him. No, no, no. Okay. I'm, I, I, I'm, I, put, I'm putting I'm him Would you... Would you... Okay. Outside, not as a Liverpool supporter. Look at Lee trying to rattle me as well when I'm it's, sick. I'm not. Honestly, I asked, I asked just, this to I've the Liverpool. For bro, I asked this to the Liverpool you. panel yesterday. Just listen to the question. Yes. If ask. he doesn't win the league this year, how yes. would you rank his time at Liverpool? Not from a Liverpool fan point of view. You have to remove the Liverpool fan hat. You know why? Because uh, you haven't won a league. I'm a, no, no, no. It's actually easy. You're a smart guy and you can do it. Listen, <laughs> because you didn't, you because you cannot be from the Liverpool point of view because you haven't won a league title in thirty years. So he's definitely from a Liverpool point of view, a legend because he brought you back, right? Yeah. But look from outside. Yes. You're a big football club. You got a manager that managed you nine years, won one league title, won one Champions League, bottled two or didn't win two. Not say bottled. He didn't win two Champions League. How would you rank his tenure at Liverpool? Nine years. On a scale of one to ten, you mean? Yes. I'd say uh, on a scale of one to ten, I'd say it's been a eight. Oh, hold on. Assuming that Pep Pep time at City is a ten out of ten, right? This is the benchmark, right? Of, of course, short of time, course. won the treble, yeah. won the Champions League, won a lot. So, yeah. so assuming that Pep is the benchmark here, yeah? yeah, you're literally ten. saying that Pep time that your club time. At Liverpool is two points behind Pep, won five league titles, won the Champions League, and won a triple. Five league cups in a sh in a short yeah. time. Yes, because because before Pep Guardiola, what? no, no, I'm gonna be objective. Before Pep Guardiola, what? Mancini this won the intangible coming in. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mancini won the league title, and Pellegrini won the league title. No, no, no. Oh, so he's level with him then. He's level with Pellegrini as well. I forgot him. That's fine. That's Pele. fine. But you know what they both done? They both won Man City a trophy before Pep anyway. So like, this is the thing. Pep Whoa, winning the league. Man City Pep wasn't their manager. What are you talking about? <laughs> what does it have to do with it? No, no, no. I'll, I'll tell you what it has to do oh, with okay. this. Because I'm when Man really City, like, Man City as a foot as an institution won two Premier League titles before Pep even walked into their football club. Yeah. Liverpool went thirty years without a league title. That's from the outside looking in. I'm not even speaking as a. Liverpool it was us that ended your dominance, by the way, back in '89 and '91. Yeah, I know. You never I won know. one again. Big up. Big I up know. They keep Graham, mate. That. Big up George Graham. Listen, Lee, you're welcome for us beating Spurs in a Champions League final. You can still walk the streets of London safely. Hey, that was funny. Yeah. I was going to France. I was at Luton Airport that, uh, the day before the game, and the whole plane to France was full of Spurs fans. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why are you all on this plane? They were like, because it was 800, Euro, 800 pounds to get a flight from Luton to Madrid. <laughs> so they all had to go to France and hire a car. <laughs> See, see how I can remind you of the days where you have to be thankful for Liverpool. And we stopped City going invincible as well. So let's just get that in. Anyway, look, I just think when, when it comes to, to Jurgen Klopp's time, objectively, without the Liverpool hat, if you're the first to do something, it's always different. That's why when Lee said, so Ranier is a Premier League legend, my first response was, yes, he's a Premier League legend. Because if you're the first to do something, you're always going to be... Like it's always gonna be an achievement of a higher regard. That's it. It's not it's not that it counts more, it's just gonna be a more difficult achievement. Um, so I'm gonna rate it at an eight because the 
club that he walked into. Also, you know what it is? Club said something at the start, and you know, and you'll see why eight is fair. Club said it's not about what they say when you first walk in; it's about what they say when you when you leave. The club that he's leaving, the next manager that takes over Liverpool Football Club, is not a toxic football club. It's not a football club that needs 15 transfers to solve itself. It's not a football club that needs all this extra shit. A manager could come in, theoretically, if we're speaking on paper, theoretically, a manager could come in, sign three players, and win the league again next season. Going back to what you said earlier, you said the game's not played on paper earlier on in this stream. Um, if he's an okay. ace, how much do you rate Mourinho's time at Chelsea the first time? Walked in, two of the great managers, dominated Nine. them, made them look like idiots on the media. Nine. Both of the... Come on. You cannot rate that nine, the Chelsea. Nine. Team. I rate Mourinho a nine, Wenger a nine, Pepper ten, and Ferguson Wenger a nine. nine. With three, three titles in 22 years. You're off your nut. You're crazy. Listen, listen you Whoa. ignore context. Wenger... Wenger is one of the few managers context. in the world. Your context. Had a three, stadium, two, three but... titles in 22 years is the context. Okay. That's that one is... every seven. Yeah, that's, that's, seven that's, that's reality, bro. That is I, I, accept, I accept that. I'm just saying that the guy had to build the whole stadium and sell his best players every year. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. That stadium was on a 25-year mortgage at 20 million pounds a year. Yeah, that stadium yeah. wasn't due to be paid off until 2031. We're in 2024. It's paid off. Why is it paid off? Because the Cronkies cleared 240 million debt and refinanced it to their self. So when he was selling all of our best players, he didn't need to. And I'll tell you why he didn't need to, because we qualify for Champions League every year, which got the money in to pay the stadium debt of 20 million every year. There's no need to sell any of our best players. The only reason he sold them is because he was on the take and getting a percentage of the money. You actually believe that? 100%. I, I, really, no, I don't believe Wenger was... I'll tell you, why, I'm, I'll tell you why I believe it, right? Adi Bayor came out in an interview years and years after he'd left and said why he run the whole length of the pitch when they played against us and he scored. And he said he came into training after scoring 30-odd goals the season before and Wenger said, we're selling you to Man City. And he said, boss, I don't want to go Man City. He said, you're going Man City or you're going in the reserves. And he said, I've just scored 34 goals, 33 goals, whatever it was. He said, we've sold you. We, we've took the fee. Now, I didn't believe him. But then two years after that, Robin Van Persie sits on BT Sport and says, I wanted to stay. They never offered me a new contract. He just scored 35 goals. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, why did we sell him? Why did we sell Andy Bayor? Why did we sell Nasri? Why did we sell all these players? Yeah, Cesc wanted to go. Cool. Yeah, he wanted to go. Yeah, he wanted to go back to his home team. Fair enough, yeah. But these other players, we didn't need to sell these players, bro. The stadium debt was 20 million a year for 25 years. Yeah, that stadium, by the time the Cronkies paid it off, it wasn't even halfway paid. They paid that, they paid that stadium debt off six years ago, refinanced it to their self, and that was over 50% outstanding still. Yeah, so we didn't need to sell our best players. Yeah, Wenger did it because he was getting a percentage of the profit. Yeah, Van Persie was profit. Adi Bayor was profit. All the players we were selling were profit. Yeah, he was getting a percentage of that. And I know that's factually correct. And I know Sean Dyche was on the same deal at Burnley. Yeah, yeah that's why they were selling their players. He kept sending their players. He was getting a percentage. I know this. He's, I've, I've, I've met Sean Dyche. I've been at a barbecue with Sean Dyche. Yeah, sound geezer. Yeah. But trust me, that happens a lot in football. Managers sell players. You think, why has he sold him? He's getting a percentage, mate. Okay, why do you think? Why do you, yeah, why, why, why do you think? Yeah, I'm always on this club's case because they didn't need to do what they were doing. Yeah, they could have kept our best players. When Van Persie was banging in goals for fun, in fact, the last time we beat Liverpool at Anfield, Van Persie scored that day against Pepe Reina. Yeah, left foot volley. Near post. I remember the near post. Yeah, he had a shocker. Yeah, 2-1, I think it was. Right, But we didn't need to sell him. All we had to do was go and spend a little bit of money, which we had, because the revenue streams were going up, all the sponsorship deals were in. Yeah, we were, we were earning money. Yes, we had to have cash reserves, but... Bro, we didn't need to sell all them players. And this is why, when I look at three titles in 22 years, sorry, mate, I ain't good enough. Yeah, especially when especially when Leicester won the league, yeah, and we were top at Christmas and beat them home and away. Yeah, Eduardo broke his leg in another season, 08, 09, I think it was, or 07, 08. 13, 14. Replace him. Yeah, Ram, Ram, uh, Ramsey broke his leg, yeah, when we were top of the league. He's got a screamer against you at the Emirates. Yeah, 30 yards out, top bins. Yeah, he breaks his leg. He was player of the season up until that point at Christmas. January, we didn't bother signing no one. And it was like, why? If we had just done that, we could have won three or four more titles. Yeah, plus, 
the fact that Fergie caught up a 12 point gap from us in 99. Yeah. And then done the, uh, done the treble. Yeah. The FA cup. Yeah. Fair enough. He's the most decorated in the FA cup, but he could have won a few more. Yeah. Europe, he never done anything in his entire history of a manager. He'd never done nothing in Europe apart from bottle every final we went to. Yeah. For me, Wenger's a good manager and he was great for the first 10 years. He should have quit while he was ahead. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's George add Graham's always better enough. for me. George Graham's always better for me because he's do he dominated um, in an era where Liverpool were dominating. Yeah, he ended your dominance. 89, greatest. That, that's better than the, the Aguero moment. Yeah, I'm sorry, it is. They're yeah, going to Liverpool, the best team on the planet at that time, and winning 2 0. That was unheard of. You ain't scoring at Anfield, let alone twice without reply. Big up John Barnes. He gave the ball back to us. Thanks for that, mate. Uh, <laughs> And then, then obviously, Mickey Thomas, we gave him to you after he was finished. Yeah, but then 91, we won it again. And we nearly went invincible that season as well. We lost one game that season yeah, in the league. Yeah, and that was to Chelsea. And Tony Adams was in jail. We had loads of injuries and lost 2-1. Yeah, and I think that season, we lost three games in all competitions. Yeah, plus we won the Cups. Yeah, 87, we won the League Cup. Yeah, um, 93, we've done the Cup double under George Graham. We won in Europe under George Graham. Better managed by a mile, mate. Yeah, I'll always put okay. him in my finger. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Obviously, um, you're you're gonna have, uh, you know, um, your opinion on 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 Arsenal as an Arsenal fan is 100 percent different because you'd know all these details that I wouldn't. But by the way, I don't even think Klopp is the best ever Liverpool manager. Like there's there's Bob Paisley. There's the there's like 100 percent. He's not the best. Uh, Liverpool won, manager. What, six. Is it six or seven? Bob times? Paisley, I think, is in the goat goat level conversations. Like Bob Fagan Paisley, as well. won, Joe Fagan as well, man. He won three Champions Leagues. He won like I think seven or eight league titles or nine league titles, something like that. Like seven, eight, or something like that. He, no, no. Bob Paisley was was him, hundred percent. Um. Anyway, let me just read the super chats before I let the guys go. I don't want to keep them for too too long. Uh, big up to Smoke who says I told my professor. For for the interim supports Euro UV and he removed two percent of my grade. <laughs> bro, football banter is gonna go everywhere, bro. Sky Sports <laughs> and these people aren't even they're doing football banter now, bro. Smoke. Oh my god. Bro, this, this guy's name's spot on as well, smoke, because he's on all the smoke today, man. He's here yeah. for it. He yeah. is, he is, <laughs> he is. Big up to you, Smoke. Shukran, Habib Salah. Big up to you. You know, you know why, you know why that hurt more as well, Lee. Let me tell you. He hates you way more than he hates AC Milan. Just so you know, you know, yeah, future fair. reference. If you want to piss him off, you get me. If, if, um, you guys are scared to say if you think you are favorites because you think you'll get cooked. Either way, Mo is still gonna cook two of LB, Lee Gunner, and Osam. But cooler. Let exactly me tell you what it is. This is what these Liverpool fans do, cooler. Yeah. Right, they make out that they're the biggest team in England. They make out they've got the best manager. They make out that they're doing it against all odds with the 115 charges and this and that and blah blah blah. I'm surprised he ain't mentioned it on this show yet, right? Because he mentioned it every other show, right? <laughs> and he'd been trying really hard not to mention it. But then when it comes down to it, and you say, okay, cool, so you got the best manager, you're doing it against all the odds, so you're gonna do it then? Oh no 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 no! I'm not. No, I'm just in City of the favourites. You you can't have your cake and eat it, bro. You're either the best team or you're not. And if you're the best team like Liverpool fans think they are, then you've got to win the league then, right? Otherwise, it's... You know, I just want to say, if you're the best team with the best manager, yeah, in his last season, and you don't win it, he's failed. Okay, Lee. So I say something. He gets me. <laughs> it has nothing to do with narratives and agendas or none of that. I fully believe what, what I said. I genuinely made my argument. We disagreed. It's fine. But I genuinely believe what I said. And at the same time, the same guy that shaved his head in front of 2,000 people because Jude Bellingham did not join Liverpool Football Club is not afraid of getting cooked. Let's not do this, Kula. You get me? I'm the last guy that's afraid of getting clipped and cooked and blah, blah, blah. I've been clipped and cooked many times. You get me? It's, it's, just, it's just, this and is just comes, the way uh, I am. It comes team of the opinion. season. They put Alisson, Van Dijk, Trent, Trent. Salah, McAllister. Seriously, yeah. this guy, this guy down here. He's like, put Trent, put Van Dijk, put McAllister, put Salah, put Allison. So they have half the team is Liverpool players. And then, yeah, we're underdogs. We're just underdogs. Mm. Yeah, and because that, we need a squad to win a league. Pound goal. for Don't pound. But you're not playing in the Champions League, bro. If you're saying, if you're saying that Man City can win the game, Klopp is taking the Europa seriously. He is. 
He, he should do. He should do because he ain't gonna, he ain't, he ain't gonna win the league. Pound for pound, he's... he ain't gonna win the league, so he's got to take it serious. Mo, can I? Can I? He will can win. Can he let me oh, breathe, Mo? Can let nah, me let me have my moment, Mo, man. Let me ruin him. <laughs> let me rattle him. He rattles everyone else. This guy is the biggest, biggest wind-up merchant on the internet. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. How You're am I a wind-up wind up merchant? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm so innocent. I've never wound up anyone before. <laughs> Big up to you, Cooler. Uh, City's last three games are Fulham away, Spurs away, and West Ham at home. Yeah, and all three of them, they'll be on the beach because they're all three mid-table clubs. So they would have planned their holidays and stuff and booked their flights already. Big up to you, Uche. Yeah, Spurs could be still fighting for fourth. Yeah, that's why Spurs are a tough game. They don't have Spurs in the last three games of the season. We do. They, they and just said Spurs. Idea. Fulham, Spurs, and no, West Ham. Fulham. Bro, come on, man. Fulham, West Ham. Not Spurs. Spurs isn't uh, isn't in the last three games. For Fulham, what? West Ham, and Wolves. Wolves is the last. They one. haven't decided where the Spurs game is going to be played for for Man City. It depends on. The, yeah, but it's uh, not going to be in the last three. It's going to be probably after a Champions League game or something. Anyway, it, depa it depends. Um, so Everton is a derby for you, but Chelsea isn't a derby for Arsenal. All these excuses. Truth is, any two teams who don't win the uh, league are now failures because it's in all of your hands. First of all, Blaze. The only derby that Chelsea has is Fulham and Brentford and QPR. You get me? So let's just say it as it is. You get me? Arsenal is not Chelsea's rival. You're not. You're not rivals like that. Your 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 geographical rival is Fulham and it's QPR. That's your geographical rival. You get me here. Leaf is from London. You can ask him. You know Chelsea and Arsenal. On paper, you know theoretically are not rivals, but lately it's become a thing. You know, so yeah, that's that's what I'll say. But yeah, uh, look, Chelsea is a tough game for us, and no problem. I accept that. I accept that. We get to you, Blaze. And it's funny how a Chelsea fan is talking to me about failure. Your 1.5 billion pound project failed against my academy. Have some shame. Big up to Luke who says, smash the likes, people. Big up to you. Make sure you guys are smashing the likes. Over a thousand people in here. Big up to Blaze again who says, Klopp done well, but the same way LFC fans see Klopp is the way top Red Sea Havertz. He's been all right, but only LFC fans put him in the GOAT convos. Here's my thing, Blaze. I haven't put him in the GOAT convos. If I say he's fifth, if I say he's fifth, does not mean he's in the GOAT convo. <laughs> if I say he's fifth, that's not like... He's not even combo. fifth. Let's just be real. Ranieri's above him. Okay, so so the only difference. No, he won a Champions League, and he no, no, he won a Champions. No, League. no, so, no. But Lee, Lee, Lee. Let's let's Lee. assume Lee's right. So no, you Pre stopped Premier League, me there. Premier League only. Something Premier League outrageous. only. You're talking about Premier League only. Yes, but it doesn't only. work like this. No, 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 no. One second, one second. Because this okay. is my problem with Lee's statement. He stopped me as if I said something outrageous, and then he put him one place below where I put him. Like, you act like you're going to put him 15th. You put him 6th anyway. So, it's not that deep, 5th, 6th. Point is, he's not in the GOAT conversation, you know? So, uh, it's just, yeah, I agree he's not in the GOAT conversation. Success isn't just trophies. He built the club from trash. This is true. That's no, why that's he gets... No, 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 that's not true. The predefined metric for success in sport is not building a club. It's winning trophies. Yes. But Otherwise, you wouldn't have trophies to define who's the winner. I, I agree with you, but trophies have a degree of difficulty. This is a fact. Yeah, which is why you're you're um, put in the GOAT category <laughs> by winning the most. And you're con considered a loser if you don't win. I agree. You're which is why when you talk about when you talk about the size of your football club and how big your football club is, you do it on the size of trophies. Don't do it on how, how the club was built from trash. You do it on how many trophies your football club has won. And that's how you compare your football club to other football clubs. Because Lee, the pre defined metric for with success you. is trophies. Otherwise, they wouldn't bother handing them out to the winner. I'm not disagreeing with you. But at the end of the day, Klopp built it from the ground up. I've given I you mean, the Pellegrini. No, 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 hold on, man. No, sorry. Sorry, I've sorry. given you the, the, the Pellegrini. From the ground up. Yeah, he didn't yeah. build them from the ground up. You're pretending like Liverpool was some washed up dead football club when he got them. They weren't. We were was still a very good football club when he got them. They just weren't we, where they are now. Lee, yeah? we were what? Let's be real. We were washed. You weren't washed. <laughs> yes, we were. You had Lambert, Borini, Balotelli. You had some decent players. Who? Who? What, did, did Steven Gerrard not exist? G Gerrard didn't play, did, wasn't there when Klopp walked in? No, but I'm saying he, he was there the season before. 
You had Suarez there. Oh, you're couple saying of overall, generally. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, league. overall. When he walked yeah, into okay. the club, it wasn't yeah, a club yeah, that we were, was completely we were a top, four, top five, top six club, yeah. But I'm I'm saying, never a champion. Never a champion. No, that's never a champion, but you've only done it once in nine years. Yes, so what's and that's changed why he's, he's the fact that you finished a few spots higher. And that's and why it's he's better to look at. And you've won a cup, a few cups in... Yes, um, and, we had, in and we've done this. Rest- you get <laughs> so yeah, big up to you, Lee. Success, uh, big up to, to, to you, Gino. Uh, big up to Morten, who says, um, Hussam Brighton have won Premier League a ho- a, a loss at home and seven away. I think Arsenal should look at them as hard opponents away. I respect if you look at Brighton as a tough game, but I'm being logical and I'm saying Brighton is easy for all three clubs, so at least I'm just being consistent. I genuinely just don't think Brighton is a tough Do game. Do you know why you say that? For us. You know why I say that? Because, because you're the only one who plays him at home. So if because you say Brighton away is because because no 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 because you want to you want to do the underdog. You're the only one that play Brighton at home. Man City and Arsenal play Brighton away. So it's it's way the, Brighton lose away seven games. They lost one game at home. Nothing yeah, since yeah. September. So Cronkett didn't even own the whole club. Have some context, man. They own the whole club from 2018. We don't always know everything. I think that's a few. He didn't even own the whole club. Well, I know that. Usmanov had 30 odd percent shares. I know this. I don't get what the point is. I, I think he I think he sent this when you were talking about uh, them clearing the debt or the something. Stadium on yeah, they cleared yeah. they cleared the debt because they they bought all the shares. They bought Usmanov shares and then forced all the um the custodians to get rid of their shares. Yeah, they they, they force bought their shares. Yeah, okay. so all the fans that had one share, two shares, they forced them to sell them. Because they now had the majority stake, they didn't have the majority stake before. Yeah, Fair they had the majority stake, but they didn't have enough to do a takeover. So I, I can't remember exactly how it was, but Usmanov was the second highest shareholder. Yeah, but just because Stan Kroenke wasn't the full owner, yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't mean that we had to sell our players. I don't really understand, if I'm honest. And this, this is right actually. Adi Boyo did score 16 goals the season before. It was the season before that he scored 20 odd. First, 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 Charles. What year did Thank Klopp you. take over at Liverpool? 15. 15, 16? Yes. Okay, the season before that, you finished sixth. The season before that, you finished second. That was the Suarez season. Yeah, Don't be shameless. Club. Club was trashy. Don't be shameless. <laughs> there was no Suarez. There was yeah, no Gerard. There was no, none of these players. Eighth. Yeah, we went from second to sixth to eighth. Yeah, it weren't exactly on its bum, was it? Yeah, Lee, if you're acting like it's when we Klopp took over Liverpool, people went like, Oh, you know what? You finished sick for the season before he took over. Yeah, we were crap, we were a top six side. That's it. I, I said, like, we're just that's it, but we never for the season finished. before you were second. Okay, we were like, you, you want honest analogy? We were like Spurs now, yeah, but with trophies. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool like, first. England, England are the national version of Spurs. <laughs> yes, they are. They actually have. I think. I think the fact that they have so many Spurs players have have put that in them as well. It's yep. the mentality just never goes. See with with Hurricane and Bayern Munich. Liverpool first, Arsenal second, City third. I hope you're right. I really do. Make no mistake, to everyone in the chat. Wallahi, I want nothing more than Liverpool to win the league. Do I believe it? No, it's not an agenda. I have strong opinions. These, these two have worked with me before. They know me. I have strong opinions. And I genuinely say what I believe. There's no narrative. There's no agenda. There's no none of that. Two years ago, I was going live on match reactions saying that we are going to win the Prem and the Champs. I said we're going to win both. I, I am not afraid of getting cooked, brother. I shaved my head in front of 2,000 people. Anything Lee criticizes LFC fans, he's done too, says General Comet. First, um, is, it, it is Spurs game moved to week 37. Has the Premier League announced this more? And you just haven't seen it. It's a new thing now. So they moved the Spurs game for who? For Arsenal again? No, 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 no. For City. No, no. For City. I, I, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Chelsea can... win as many as Liverpool in the Pep and the Klopp era. But that's that's not true. It's we've 20 years, bro. Through. Yeah, we've won more through. 20, 20 years, bro. Big up to Charles Allison says, Lee says it's about no uh, number of trophies and the journey is irrelevant, but Ranier above Klopp when they have one each, he doesn't believe what he says. Well, Liverpool were one of the biggest clubs in England, if not the biggest. You could argue them a Man United either way. Yeah, Leicester ain't. They're not even in the top division anymore. 
So what, what's harder to do? Yes, you're still with the same trophy for it, but which is harder to do? Win the league with Liverpool, win the league with Leicester? Win the league with Leicester is more difficult. Exactly, but you still get the same trophy for it. But however, yeah. who's the better manager, Ranieri or Klopp? It's Klopp. Klopp. So there's two things that go for Liverpool. They've got the better manager and they've got a bigger and easier chance to win it because they've got better players. And better players. Now, Leicester have a worse manager, a smaller budget, and worse players, and still won the league against Liverpool with Klopp being there, by the way. Oh, Klopp my there. God. You're so shameless. <laughs> <laughs> it was there, wasn't it? Klopp, it was. Klopp finished eighth that season. <laughs> you're so shameless. That was Klopp's first half season, man. Mignolet, no, it wasn't Moreno. half season. So you love to do this as well, half season. He joined the club in October. That's two yeah, seasons into the two yeah. months into October. the season. Yeah, and that's not that's, that's two months season, too, is it? That's two months too far. I was Rogers out then. I, yeah, I but it's not half a season. It's two months into a ten month season. It's just one month different way into a season. You know, you might think I'm scapegoating, but I genuinely believe he's the reason why we didn't win the league. It's not even a slay. I cannot stand that Brendan Rodgers guy. I hate him. My soul hates him. I, I reject him. You know, when you see someone and you just your your soul irks you, you just get annoyed directly. You hate him. That's me with Rodgers. Every time I see Rodgers' face, I get angry. It's I like me when I see Wenger on TV. My blood boils, mate. Fair, fair. Now, imagine that times three because we have zero league titles under Rodgers and he decided to poke the, the bear in Mourinho and he couldn't let us breathe. The fraud. How many trophy last seasons before Arteta out? How many trophy last season? I'm already Arteta, right? If he don't win it this season, bin him. Bro, where have you been? Yeah, where's he? Where have you been hiding? I've been out there since three weeks before. Soon Good as he was lined up on, to man. get that job, and it was pretty much confirmed, just not announced. Yeah, I was like, get him out, mate. Yeah, and yeah. so far, he's won one trophy, and that was right at the beginning, six months in. So again, coming back to what Hussam was saying about he got the job halfway through a season. No, our manager did actually get the job halfway through the season. He got it in December, and won a trophy straight away. Yours didn't. With, Yours finished eight. With Emery's players. Won a trophy. With Emery's players. And then flogged them all. I had somebody in my comment section um, <laughs> yesterday saying to me, oh, yeah, you bet, I bet you're still crying Aubameyang left. Yeah, we got rid of Aubameyang. I bet you gutted still. I said, yeah, funny how we ain't won a trophy since we flogged him, innit? <laughs> yeah. Ain't won anything since he's gone. <laughs> and he was, the, he was the last person to win us a trophy. Oh, Mad. yeah. Yeah, exactly. First... So he done it with Emery's players. Big up Emery. Uh, the Spurs City game will be likely on the second uh, last day. Uh, fair enough. Um, not drinking the Kool Aid until uh, Arsenal win a trophy. I respect that. Uh, LFC and Arsenal neck on neck with LFC edging it. Says uh, That's Cooler. The prediction. Yeah, Cooler. Okay. I hope so. Arteta is going to be giving a, uh, given a new contract, Lee. I yeah, think I, I think actually so. think he will. No agenda. Yep. I right, listen. Hopefully, he wins signed. But um, we'll see. We'll see, mate. This okay. is where he's got to earn his money now. This is why he's getting paid eight million a year, and I'm just a numpty YouTuber. <laughs> Can't wait for for when Arsenal don't don't win the league, and then he gets. Actually, let me ask you, Jenny. Don't, don't worry. When when Klopp walks out with just a league cup this season, mate. Trust me. Yeah, I will be. I'll be putting. I know you. You count league cups anyway, so I'll use that against you. But forget forget Klopp. Do Champions League. Champions League, you you choose Champions League over Prem, right? Be honest. No, believe it or not. Oh my God. Really? Why? Well, yeah, you wouldn't because, take Champions League over Because the best, as much as I've never seen Arsenal win a Champions League, I've only seen this in one final that we should have won. Again, Wenger messed that up um, by subbing off Pires when we got down to 10 men. It's all about. Uh, but anyway, that's for a different stream. Um, I'd rather the Premier League. I'll tell you why. Because we're going up against two great managers. Yeah, Chelsea proved that the best team in Europe don't always win the Champions League because Chelsea won it two years ago and they were crap. Yeah, let's just be real with it. The best team don't win the league. Porto were not the uh, Champions League. Sorry, the best team, um, Porto won it. They weren't the best team in Europe. Arsenal were that season. Yeah, we then lost to Chelsea, Wayne Bridge. They then lost to Monaco and then it was Monaco-Porto final. Yeah, Mor Mon Monaco had Morientes. So they had some decent players, but we were the best team in Europe that season. We never won it. Yeah, the amount of times teams win the Champions League that are not the best team in, in the world. Yeah, I'd love to but see Arsenal win the Champions League. It's still the most glorious League. trophy, though. That's the thing. It it's is, and I'd love to win it. Don't get it twisted. You're sitting there with your little gold one. Yeah, I'd love to have my one as well. <laughs> I 
I'd love to have my one as well. But I think that if you win the Premier League this season against Klopp, who's been there nine years, and against Pep, who's the best manager in the world, yeah, I've, I'll take that because you can't fluke winning a Premier League. You can fluke winning a Champions League. One decision, you could totally be out. Yeah. But then next fair. season, then, then next season, then it's get the summer summer spending and build a proper squad and go full on for both. This season, I don't think we've got the squad to do both. So it's either one or the other. And if I'm picking one, it's the Premier League. I think you're crazy. I think all Arsenal fans should want Champions League. Oh, That's nuts. feeling. No, I want it. Don't get it twisted. I want it. But I just think it's over be a No, for me, over oh. And oh. Lee as well. Lee, you're old enough to have seen the uh, to have seen your club I've win the Premier League. That's why I'm extra well. talking. You've already seen Arsenal win a league title. That's what five I mean. League titles. Five in my Ooh. lifetime. Yeah, you Champions should, League, it will break the internet. Yeah, it'll break it. It will actually it will literally break, break the internet. That's a the shocking answer, Lee. Lee. No, no, no. Do you know, do you know, do you know what it is? I'm so shocked yeah. Lee actually said Brem. I'm generally well, so no, shocked. I said, this on the, I said this on the podcast with the lads on Monday because Jez and Kenny both said Champions League. Yeah, and um, Kenny was at the Champions League final in 06. I think Jez might okay. have been there as well. Yeah, and uh, I remember watching it and like heartbroken. Like, we lost to Barca, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'd love to win it. Yeah, but... At the same time, yeah, I just think Premier League, bread and butter, bro. Bread and butter. Bro, get if you win the Premier Champions League, in. everyone would want to want, join Arsenal. Yeah, yes. but I think if we, Every, if we get everyone, Bayern Munich, if you ask any player around the world, if they want, they, they would want, you would be able to compete with anyone to attract players. If you win the mm, Champions League, anyone. Apart from Madrid. Apart from Madrid apart, forget Real Madrid because they have different... different but yeah, I hear you. But I think like if we any, win like you would be able to, You would be able to go head-to-head with Barcelona, for example, and so like attract players. Especially in 100%. that situation of Barcelona 100%. now. This is generally I think, I think the if we win the Premier League, if you win the Premier League, it's not the same. If we I get past Bayern Munich and get Real Madrid or City in the next round, put up a half decent showing in that, but get knocked out, let's say, but then we win the Premier League, I think that's the same. Yeah, but scenario. it's not the same. Winning the Champions League. No, it's League not is. because the Champions League is the pinnacle, bro. The yeah, Champions League. Win the Champions League. Man City. It's, and 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 because you are gonna win the if you win the Champions League and you win the Champions League with challenging is it's not win the Champions League when you're like fifth or fourth you are challenging yes, to the Premier you are a very good team yeah like you, you have a very good team and everybody's talking about you you win the Champions League this season even if you lose the league title by a point or something Lee you need to reconsider Bro, that opinion you know you like need to reconsider the, it, it I'm would, telling you right now you need to reconsider the the, the, the right, UCL give me both. The give me both. <laughs> Give me both, mate. I'd love yeah. nothing more to win the championship. If Arsenal League. win both, I think some YouTubers will shut their channels, will <laughs> shut it off. I promise you. <laughs> if Arsenal win the double, some YouTubers will shut off their channels. Hey, Terry, 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 Lewis, Terry Lewis could put his video out saying, I told you Arsenal was scary. If Arsenal win the double, oh my days. I said this before, yeah, and I got clips up. I was on with troops the other week. You know, last week, yeah, it got clipped up. I said, if he wins the Champions League, give him a statue. Give him a statue. Oh, definitely, if he wins a double, he's above Wenger right away. Mate, if he wins the Champions League, he's above Wenger. Wenger never won in Europe. Guys, are you serious? If Arsenal win the double this season against Klopp and Pep and win the Champions League, the league and the guy is up there. This team has never won yeah, the Champions you, League. You can, you can, you can. Uh, you it would can, be mad. Many people lie, would delete crazy. their YouTube channels. I'll be the honest. thing is, we have we have a chance in both, obviously, because we're still Chelsea, there, right? Chelsea fans but, will have a will take a year sabbatical, bro. Chelsea. Fans. Right, Chelsea fans will be <laughs> shutting their channels down, mate. Yeah, they will be gone. Tottenham fans will be in hiding. Yeah, not that there's many about on the internet these days. Like, like the, the whole we won, won the league in October has disappeared, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? When they got manager yeah. of the month three times on the spin. <laughs> but if we win both. Oh, my days, bro. I swear down. And we can... Listen, we've got a chance. I think the problem we have with the Champions League, I do think we'll beat Bayern Munich. However, if we do not win that first leg, I think we're getting knocked out. We have to win at home. Yeah, and then we can just go there and hold on and then try and break and get another goal. Yeah, even if it's just a 1-0 at the Emirates. I'll take a 1-0, go and park the bus in Bayern. But if we draw or lose, we're out. But if we get through, got Real Madrid or Man City... Yeah, and I think we'd be better suited to play uh, Man City than we would Real Madrid. Yeah, because we haven't played Real Madrid for how many years? We play Man City every season. We pretty know, much know what they're going to do, whereas Real Madrid are so unpredictable. Yeah, and they can change and chop players around left, right and centre. They've got an unbelievable squad. So, yeah, it's going to be difficult. And then I, if you I think the only, the only if they've got Atleti, PSG, Dortmund or, or Barca to come in the final. Bro, if he wins that Champions League, just give him a statue. 
Imagine if he loses the Champions League final to Simeone. Oh, hey, yeah, that washed manager that Arsenal fans keep telling me is buried, yeah? Okay. Yeah, but he's not won anything for three years. Yeah, Arteta's not won anything for four, lads. Imagine if we get past all of this and get Dortmund in the final and then lose. <laughs> oh, my oh, my Lord. If Lord. you get Dortmund in the final and lose, Arteta should leave the day off. He should he resign. Should he should just resign. He should resign. Yeah, you cannot lose. Like, not even wait for the third. Just the third. Time, I'm sorry, bro. you can't. You can't. Atleti, mm. fair enough. PSG, even fair enough. Even Barcelona, Dortmund, fair enough. Like Dortmund, no. Like, it's, it's, yeah. Dortmund. Dortmund. We'll batter. We'll batter Barcelona. We'll batter them if we yeah, play them. Yeah, we'll Barca. To be fair, we'll batter them. Um, that kid they've got is flipping good, mate. Like Yamal, he's a very good player. Yeah. I respect opposing fans' opinions on Liverpool, but least ball knowledge and opinions on what he believes makes no sense, says General Comet. Hey, we tried to make... Listen, me and Mo Gagan pressed him about the Champions League thing, telling you right now, I told him he should revisit that opinion. He that was a team press right there, guys. Team press. Yeah. yeah what, my, uh, need... my, my escape rate was immense. Yeah, I got through it, lads. I got through it and scored a point. No, because you said I want both. You should revisit that opinion. I'm telling you, you really should. Just think about it. Just think about it. Like, if you win the UCL, that's the pinnacle. Yeah, it is, it's it just, is. But at the same time, bro, I, I want the Premier League, man. I've been crying and bitching and moaning every day, day in, day out, for five and a half years on YouTube. Yeah, get me a Premier uh, League. Yeah, then we can put that in the in the trophy cabinet, celebrate all summer, and now go and win me a Champions League and compete for the title again. One step at a time. Listen, first, beggars can't be choosers. I'll take either right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather the Premier League. Arteta contract will be renewed regardlessly. I, I I think so as well. I've already explained yes. this before why I think this will happen because I feel like owners don't look at the clubs the same way that we do as 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 mm. fans and stuff. They just the manager market as well isn't really the best out there. Anyway, um, we're gonna wrap it up here almost two hours. Big up to Lee for actually staying this long as well with us. Big up to you, Lee. Um, yeah, man. Big up to Mrs. Mo. Come back home. She's back in Romania for two weeks, so I'm I'm just on my ones, mate. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm just I've got so much dinners in my house, so I just left them to it. Just come to her house and just sitting there chilling with you guys. It's been enjoyable, man. Yeah. It's it Fine. has been very enjoyable. Shout out to Footy Judge Mo as well. Big up to, to you, my brother. Thank you so much for, for joining us, guys. Both Lee Connors channels and Footy Judge Mo's channels in the description. If, if, if you guys, um, you know, because you guys are a bunch of lazy bastards, I know my audience, you guys are very lazy. So just go in the description and click the link, and you'll just go hit subscribe on both of their channels. Uh, you know, let's help uh, get Lee. Uh, also, Lee, I'll actually add in Lee reacts uh, now as well. I dropped uh, a I'm video about with... Jose earlier saying sack Southgate get Jose in, um, and I'm four subs from 25.8k on that channel. I've just look now. So go and sub. Yes, so actually... sub. That'd be lovely. Yeah, I'm, I'm about. I'm, I just added Lee reacts now as well. So let's get Lee reacts as well to 25k. Is it? Yeah. 25k? Uh, 25.8 if we get four subs. 25.8k. Let's get him to 25.8k. Footy Judge Mo, let's go subscribe, get him to, to 20k as well. Big up to all of you guys. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing on your way out. There's still a thousand people in here. I'm going to be back at uh, at 9pm UK time, inshallah. Nubbins, LB, Dawood, TJ, who's in the chat. And we're just going to have an all-out war. City versus Arsenal today. So, um, everyone that I, I made sure everyone's coming with chest. Um, so big up to Lee, big up to 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 Mo. Shout out to all the super chatters. I'll see you guys back inshallah at, at 9 p.m. Peace out. <laughs>